threads of chaos and despair. The Almighty has spoken. He calls his chosen. Those who bear his divine might. His saviors. We live in the book of the acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard in no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne, applying the stuff I've been shown. The picture through all of my walls, the picture through all of my walls. And I'm out here playing this picture, it came from the scriptures, I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples, I've seen some examples, so what think it's just about time now? To break the whole habit, to clean off the addicts, and yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn it to vengeance, to struggle in the Lord and His might now. Since I just cannot stay the same Wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain The people that I love, they think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty and look at real life, they pull up and show my day face, yeah It's a lot in my face, yeah I cannot stay like I'm in, yeah And it's only if you to stay true and some trippin'. Angel, if you got no clue what you slippin', it's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the one set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I fool with no vision. I'm moving like fast to my mind, steady swimming. Chit, 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 chit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me clap for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a button. We need the applause, 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 <laughs> applause. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the final trumpet radio show. Yes, we sir. We back and we black, 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 <laughs> black, black, black. No fault if you offended. <laughs> I'm smart shot. All right, I am your host, Captain <laughs> Kalaya. To my right, Officer Aton. To my far right, Officer You Want To Yasharala. To my left, Officer You Want To To my far left. Black as always, Officer Marshall. <laughs> and yo, to my far, far, far Bring left, we got out. a new addition to the Bring radio show. Hey, Shalom, Officer Kaz. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> sir. What up, Paul? We're going to have a clap again. We're going to do it for you. you know and also, <laughs> our reader today is... Officer Yehoshua. Officer Yehoshua. If you don't know, that is the Officer Yehoshua and King Kaz of uh, Second Kings. Yes. <laughs> you already know what time it is. I don't know, y'all got to be talking like Tobe, no Ingo, Ingo right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You done heard it once, yeah. I look, now you stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's how you be talking. Yeah. He do talk yeah, like that. Do. Yeah, So today's show, yeah, y'all stay with us. Nah. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump right into it. Now, nah. hey, we got a good show today, man. Uh, all praise to the most high, we able to come back. Dang, two weeks in a row, this, this, this is good. We on fire, man. This is on fire, man. man. We, hey, it's, it's, it's kind of getting there. The discipline is starting to seek in, seep in a little more. You know what I'm saying? We got to bring King Kaz up to up to time speed because I was late this morning because he was late. You know what I'm saying? I, right. It's, it's charity. I thought I was on time. Charity. Yeah. Charity. Was charity. I wasn't on time. I was here when y'all told me I need to be here. Uh, you talking nah. to him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, definitely uh, always a pleasure to be able to you know, sit down with the brothers, go through the scriptures, dialogue a little bit, and uh, a present some of the things going on in our community, some things going on with our people that we have to go to the Bible to uh, render the solutions for, to show our people that there is a better way and the things that we've been doing in this society. Hey, it's all off, but it's because we're the Israelites, and these things are going to continue to happen to us until we get our minds right, all right? So, right. uh... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did uh, uh, we went over an article about the young brother Noah. I don't know if we have that old article. I should have reposted it. In fact, if somebody go to the show run and kind of, I'm gonna see if I can go to the show run and kind of repost the older article of uh, the young brother Noah. He drowned. Well, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly he drowned. But we know that ain't what happened. All right. When you go through. That article and start to see the content of who was involved, um, how things played out. I'm gonna repost this one right here real quick. Of, of how things played out, uh, we know that there was a lot more involved with it than what they saying. You got it? I got it right there. Yep. So, hey, pull up that first article, the, the old article first. We're not gonna really go through it uh, much. 
But uh, there are a couple of things in there that I want to point out because we already knew this stuff. Anytime these type of situations pop up where there is a crime against our people and, and, and the other nations are involved, we already know they're trying to twist the story, you know what I'm saying, protect their own and make us look like it, it's just, we just, you know, uh, dumb as hell. Like, it is, it's our fault that these things happen to us in the community when they're involved, when their hands are directly involved in it. Right. You know, mm-hmm. They right. lied and said that the young man wandered away from home. You know what I'm saying? And he mysteriously walked into some water and drowned. Put that article up, the uh, the older article, if we can, real quick. That's that new age lynching. Yes, that's exactly what it is. All right, uh, stroll up. Might have to uh, resize it, too. It's pretty big. Yeah, 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 right there. Now, stroll down, because there's one, there's one particular thing that I want to point out. All right, oh, start right there. According to the report, stroll down real quick. Let me see if that's it. No, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up. Read. Okay, start right there. Read, read that, uh, Officer Yoshua, according to the report. According to the report, the 11-year-old suspect is facing multiple charges, including simple battery, involuntary manslaughter, concealing the death of another, and criminal trespass. Okay, stroll back all the way up to the top for him real quick. All the way back up to the top of the article. So this is... Right there with the picture. This is the young brother Noah. All right? Young brother Noah who allegedly drowned himself. Mm. All right? Now, stroll down. Um, Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. So, go back up to the, the top of it. It may, be, it may be in the first part of the article. Right? Read that on July. Read, read that part right there. The Georgia drowning. The Georgia drowning death of an eight-year-old black boy at the hands of two white children has been determined to be a homicide, uh-huh. as stating in a press release from the David Bozeman Johnson law firm. I read on. On July 10th, 2024, author- authorities arrested and charged two juveniles, ages 10 and 11, in connection with Noah Bush's killing in the city of Jessup. The arrest comes nearly two months after Noah was found deceased underwater in a construction burrow pit near his home. So it took them two months to arrest uh, this 10-year-old and 11-year-old. Go ahead. On May 16th. He went missing on May 15th. Medical examiners ruled Noah's death as a homicide by drowning. A homicide by drowning. Read. Now, the mother of one of the white boys has been charged in the case as well. Uh-huh. Real stroll up. That's her. Uh, that, that's her right. Look, now, now you're going to tell me. Trailer that trash. Trailer man. trash, bro. Come on, man. What was the three tiers? What'd you say? <laughs> what was the three tiers? <laughs> right, three tiers. You had the elite, the sub-elite, and the your trailer. bottom the of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. She is from the bottom of the barrel. Put her back up there. Can anybody say The criminal. They should look just like white Jesus. Cedric Bourget. <laughs> meth <laughs> clinic. <laughs> right. Meth, right. meth, 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 meth oh, lab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stroll down. I'll read that. According to the report, the 11-year-old suspect is facing multiple charges, including simple battery, involuntary manslaughter, concealing the death of another, and criminal trespass. Mm-hmm. The 10-year-old was charged with concealing death of another and criminal trespass. The charges came after a probable cause hearing where a lead detective testified. Mawuli Mel Davis, an attorney re- representing the Bush family, stated that according to the lead detective's testimony, the 11-year-old was captured on a vi- in a video before Noah's death and shown assaulting the black boy. So there was already go- there was already picking on the dude. Right, they got video evidence. Yep. Right, read on. And repeatedly using racial slurs against him. Uh-huh. We can't rule out that race may have played a factor in these juveniles' unthinkable acts the day that Nora Davis died. No, nah, that that it is a it is in fact a race thing. No doubt about it. Come on. Both juveniles were ordered detained with bail set at ten thousand dollars for the eleven year old and five thousand for the ten year old. So they didn't get no damn they, they they got right out of jail. Like that's easy right there. Go ask grandpa for a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and snatch them right back out. All right, let's go. Uh keep the article up there. Go back to the uh, article. Stroll. Right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, read on. We picked up. Pick, pick up where you left off at. What happened to Noah? What happened to Noah? 
Per the Georgia Gazette, initial reports from the Wayne County Sheriff's Office indicate Noah had wandered into the pit and drowned. So Noah wandered into a pit. He left home. Now, you got on camera that he was being assaulted by these two white boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they were using racial slurs. Right. Now, all of a sudden, he wandered, he wandered into off. a pit. Right. Now he's right. retarded. Yeah, right. 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 He's, he's retarded. Right. Now, like right. a little child, just wander right. off right. somewhere and fall off into a... No, a pit. Right. Like, that's that's ridiculous. Read on. With no suspicion of foul play. No suspicion of foul play. You see how they how they line the stuff up? Oh, oh, hey, I need you to get and hold Zachariah 11 suspicious. and 5. You're already on it. Read on. Mm -hmm. However, Noah's parents were skeptical because he had a fear of deep water and would not likely have entered the pit voluntarily. Exactly. So he didn't go in that thing voluntarily. Now. We're going to drop this article, and I want you to pull up the newest one, uh, the newest video. Uh, right? I'm gonna, I got to put a thumbs up on it. Right here. That very first one right there. The 11-year-old kid admits to drowning 8-year-old Noah Bush. Uh, uh, Noah Bush in Georgia, and he only get, we're going to, let's, 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 uh, let's just let the reader read it. What happened to Noah Bush? Chilling admission by Juvenile reveals how eight-year-old Jessup Boyd died. Come on. Two children, oh, okay. Two children, ages 11 and 10, have been sentenced in connection to the disappearance and death of a young Wayne County boy. The mystery, the mystery surrounding the death of Noah Bush, an eight-year-old who drowned in a burrow pit on the northern side of Wayne County, is now cleared. But the Bush family still fights for justice, not feeling satisfied with the outcome. On May 15th, Noah Bush went missing after he and two other boys, an 11-year-old and a 10-year-old, went to a restricted zone within Wayne County filled with burrow pits. Once his mother, Demetrius Bush, realized Noah was missing, she kicked off an overnight search for the boy involving many residents within Jessup, including the two boys and their parents. So, let's play this video. I hadn't watched this video right here yet. Let me just see, what, let's see what's going on here. Let's get the sound right. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's go. The death of eight-year-old Noah Bush finally comes to light. WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson is in Wayne County with more details on the trial of an 11-year-old boy, his confession, and how he's being sentenced. Noah Bush was an eight-year-old who thought he was hanging out with friends on May 15th. The next day, he was found dead in a body of water on the northern end of Wayne County. On Thursday, we learned his death was not an accident. We just left the most heart-wrenching hearing that I think I've been a part of in my practice. For three months, Demetrius Bush, along with family and community, fought for the truth behind her son Noah's death. More than anything else, just that the truth be told. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, all this mother wanted was the truth. In May, Wayne County Sheriff Chuck Mosley ruled Noah's death had no foul play. Demetrius knew that was that? not right since Noah did not like water. On Thursday, one of two children involved in his death admitted to what truly happened in that clay pit in the middle of nowhere. This 11 year old admitted under oath that he in fact led Noah Bush down to the clay pits, pushed him into the water, and ultimately held his head under that water until he drowned. The 11 year old and the other child, a 10 year old for concealing his death are both serving two-year maximum confinements. Two the max years. sentence a juvenile can receive in Georgia. My baby was eight years old with a full life ahead of him. And two years is what the state of Georgia calls justice for an entire life that's lost. However, the Bush family and the lawyers from the Davis Bozeman Johnson Law Group are not stopping in their fight for justice. This is uh, not the end that the adults who were involved, who helped mislead this family, must be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law as well.
A hearing for potential damages owed to the Bush family is set for 30 days from Thursday. We'll keep you updated on air and online at WJCL.com as more information is released. And Jessup, AJ so, Sisson. So look, I'm going to tell you straight. First, let's get that in uh, that Zachariah. And then I want that uh, one in song, Don't Trust Thy Enemy, man. Um, let's get that. Read that real quick. The book of Zachariah. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them. Say what now? Whose possessors slay them. See, we have yet to understand who our possessor is. Our people think, a class yesterday was right. heavy, the Negroes' illusion of freedom. freedom. Right. Yeah. Our people have yet to know and understand who their oppressor is, mm -hmm. who their possessor is. And that's why... The parents let their son mm. hang out with these two right. little Edomites. Demons. Yeah, two demons. demons. Right. Read that again. Whose possessors slay them. They've been slaying us since we got off the damn slave ships. Right. They have been slaying us since then, and we still think that these are friends. We still think that these, that they, these people are okay. We we can trust them now. We They're loyal. Read on. And hold themselves not Guilty. These two young men got two years. Like the mother said, two years for a lifetime. Their son was eight years old. Mm -hmm. In two years, he would only have he would only be ten years old if he was still alive today. These two demons, as Marshall said, as the Bible says, right. these two demons will be back out on the streets before the death of this young man's tenth birthday. Right. right. They'll be back living the rest of their lives. Yeah, As they, murderers. They'll be 13, ain't it? Yeah. They, they yeah. 11, right? Yeah, 11 yeah. year old convicted murderers. Back Un on the block again. Dude. 13, and they're going to do it again. again. They're yeah. going to do it again. They got away with it. They're going to do it again. Into high school killers. with a body. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to high school and they got a body. Yeah. They, they, they famous. Mm -hmm. And then counties like Jessup. The, bro. That, don't that sound just like. Bro, I know. I know. Confederate I, I mean, flag hanging. <laughs> you know what Jessup County Jessup. is? <laughs> Do you know where Jessup County is? I have no idea. Do you know where Jessup County is? Sounds what about like you? Dukes of Who do, yeah, hey, Jessup County. <laughs> Jessup. Jessup, you Georgia. Say it that way. Jessup, Georgia. Jessup. It's you Jessup. Ride through Jessup. You got, hey, you, you, pa <laughs> you pass through Jessup so fast, you don't even know it's there. Right. <laughs> Any place named Jessup, you know not right, to right. stop. <laughs> not for Negroes. Not for Negroes. It is not for Negroes. General Lee's all through Hey, the put place. a little, put right. a little demon on, put that little demon on the, uh, uh, on the screen right there. This right here is the right. is one of the little demons, right? He who is like now he gonna serve two years? You think he gonna serve two years in juvenile? Nah, no, he Not. will be he, he will be out. This play, I don't even know what this so, is. Play this, that. Hold on, this the video, right? Of the little boy. Oh, he yeah. said he wanted nah, to be nah, a murderer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about this to say. Dude. This so this ain't, ain't the. This, this ain't, ain't him. The, it is him. Right. right. They all the same. <laughs> exactly. It the is same. him. It's him. They the same. Goddamn. They the same. That's him. Hey, That's him. You know how they did the uh, boy down there that killed everybody in the church? They yeah, by burning the roof. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. The roof. Right. I wanted to get them little boys right a happy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The spirit, yeah. the spirit speaketh expressly that they are of the same right. mind. They are of the same. That's him. That is right. him. Goddamn. Right. Hey, that's him. He said he want to be a murderer. Play that little demon. Yeah, play yeah, that. Play that. Wanna be? What do you want to be when you grow up? A murderer because I like killing. My brain tells me if I like killing. Yeah. I like killing because um, when I first watched my grown-up killing show, um, my self started to like killing, and then my brain started to like tell me what to do with killing. It. So okay. I like murder. His brain tells him what. Like did he bro, say his, yeah, his brain? brain. Telling him. His, his brain, brain tells him what to do with bro. Yeah, Satan. Say Satan, Satan. The bro. Devil. They it, it, hey. they Yo. are the devil on the earth, bro. Right. Facts. Ah, uh, bro, you just what you got, bro? Go ahead. What, what, I know you trying to get out. Psalms fifty-eight, verse three. Bring it, bring it out. Yeah, bring it out. Pull up, pull up the definition. All of us on that verse. All of us on that verse. Start at one. Get, get the definition of um, it's strange, it's strange, it's strange too. Pull that up. Jeez. Man, I'll read that real quick, man. The Book of Psalms, chapter fifty-eight, and verse three. Go ahead. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Now, this wicked, that is the so-called white man. 
right? right. These Edomites All when you read Malachi, long. right? It says the wicked are estranged from the womb. Now pull up the sim- pull up estranged and pull up the similitudes. I want one similitude specifically where it says make hostile slash unfriendly. Right there. I'll read the definition. And definition then- of estranged. Cause someone to be no longer close or affectionate to someone. Right. So they they lack affection. They mm-hmm. the wicked are estranged from them. They have that perpetual hatred. Yes. It is inbreded in them. And read that um synonym right there. Make hostile. To make hostile mm-hmm. slash unfriendly. They are natural born killers. They yes. are murderers. Exactly. That's what they are. Hey, you you said inbreded. I was about to say inborn. It's right. it's inborn in them. Right. 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 It's in the <laughs> sea. And they read read that verse again. Psalm chapter 58 and verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Go ahead. They go astray as soon as they as be born. As soon as they are born, they go astray. Meaning as soon as they are born, they know what their purpose in life is. They want to be a murderer. We hate niggers. That's what they do. That's what they be. That's who they be. Read. Speaking lies. And they are liars. One last one. Give me Psalms 137. This is why when the time comes, the spirit of the Most High is going to be upon us. Uh, those that believe. To do this to their children without any type of any any type of um what you call it? Any Endurance. feelings, yeah. any empathy for them. Psalms no re- 137. No remorse. Right. No remorse for them. 137, verse 7 through 9. Read that real quick. The book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 7. Mm-hmm. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. So the Most High is asking us to remember. We're we're praying to the Most High to remember the children of Edom. Even these little bastards that killed our young brother. Right? Read that. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom Mm -hmm. in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. Who said, destroy it, destroy it. We see the the photos of our brothers being lynched, and you got women and children looking, being happy. They're having cookouts. Um, You know what I mean? They're they're, they're, they're celebrating over our dead bodies and our destruction. They, They said, race it, race it, read. Even to the foundation thereof. Read. O daughter of Babylon. The children of Edom is the daughter of Babylon, read. Who are to be destroyed. They're the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. Read on. Happy shall he be. It says happy shall he be. The Most High got to put the spirit on us because a lot of us are not going to be happy to do these things to these bastards in this day. Read. That rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Right. We want that vengeance. Read. Happy shall he be. It says happy shall he be that does what? That taketh and dasheth thy little ones. Them little demons that killed this young brother. And that little demon that says he wants to be a murder. And all them little demons that hate our young Black, Hispanic, and Native American brothers and sisters, that happy shall he be that does what? That taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. It's going to be a great day when that spirit is put upon us, when Christ comes back, so that we can now take vengeance, not just on the adults, but on the children as well, and dash them against the stones. That's right. All praise to the most. What you got, Cosmo? You know what's crazy? This is justice. Because a lot of times we feel the need to march. Right. We have to reopen cases because of the injustices. But the real justice is going to come when we're able to do this right here under Christ. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah, straight up, though. Sweet hey, this Jesus. Right? That little demon <laughs> said, my brain tells me what to do when it comes to killing. Yeah. Hey, get that in Genesis. Uh, when he was when he, the, uh, he was giving us the, the, the art of war. Mm. These little demons, the way the, his mind works like this is because... He was given the power of the sword. Right, right. And that seed that is passed down from his forefathers, bro, that, that, that just shows you how strong that seed of Cain is, bro. Like, the, the, that murderous spirit is inborn in them like you just went over. They cannot get away from it. They cannot be made straight. They are right. crooked. Right. Yep. That's just the way it is. But our people have yet to realize that these people are jacked up. You know what I'm saying? They hate our guts. I don't know why here in 2024 we still don't have common sense as a people to realize we need to be separate. Like yeah, we right. don't need to mess with these people. Right. Let's get together. Let's learn to police our own neighborhoods and take care of our own business, man. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 27 and verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, oh my father. So he wanted a blessing because the blessing that he thought he was going to get, it wasn't for him. So let's see what he got blessed with. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Man, Isaac. And like, bitch said, eh, he crying. He wanted a damn blessing. Freaking punk. Come on. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, 
Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So because they live in all of the rich places, of, anywhere you go on the planet, you see Esau in these so-called white people, the elites live in the best places of the earth. Even the sub-elites live in decent neighborhoods. Right, yep. Hell, some of these people are at the bottom of the barrel. Trailer park. Trailer park trash. They got family that live in these mm. nice areas. Yep. Right. They all the same. The, they, that spirit is all the same. Right. But this is going into how they would live in all of the great places of all over the earth. They're the ones that happen. They don't give a damn. Where you go at? If there's anything good about this place, Esau lived there. Mm. Most times they're gonna take it by violence. Yeah. Oh, that's how that's how they get it. That's how they get it. <laughs> exactly. Read on. Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Come on. And of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword. By what? By thy sword. So the sword, the sword, or the damn nine millimeter, or the AR-15, right. or whatever instrument can be used to kill. Whatever instrument, he will use a hammer to take uh, that damn planet if that's all he has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Read that right. again. And by thy sword. By the sword. Shalt thou live. Shall he live. That's how they got America. That's how they got Israel. That's how they got everything on the planet. So it is not far-fetched to say that, hey, he might not be the guy that's in prison, but he is. That's his cousin, goddamn. That's his, <laughs> hey, that's, that's his brother or something. You know what I'm right. saying? Because it's just in their spirit. They are murderers by nature. You think about their mentality. Them kids... That, that committed the murder, admitted to the murder. They go to prison for or jail, whatever they're going to for about two years. Juvenile, yeah. When they get out, they already have a murder under their belt. Exactly. Yeah. They're now going to be numb to putting someone to death. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's that, nothing for them. It's going to come real easy. That police academy looking real nice. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Hey, <laughs> right. Hey, oh, real. man. Real. That's, they like that's that how they're going to fix 100%. themselves. 100%. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, can we get one more verse just on that? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, give me Psalms 55, I mean, 58 and 2. I wanted him to jump up on that. Shoot, I wanted him to read down. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> the book of Psalms. Oh, ready? The book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 2. Yea, in the heart he worked wickedness. See, that little mm. boy already in his mind is working wickedness. He That's already trying to figure out said. how he want to be a killer. Right. Mm -hmm. At a young age like that, I was thinking about little toys, what I could do, <laughs> things like that, and playing. This little boy thinking about killing. And his mind said, you know what? Cut a hole in the throat. Pull the tongue through. Right, right. yeah. Right. A Colombian necktie. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Crazy. Hey, a Colombian manicure. And, <laughs> and, and you right. think about it. Think about it. If, all these children think like that. They, they do. Right. That's what those two boys did. Exactly. Right. They took him over to that place where yep. he know he don't like no damn water. Mm. They took him over there and they planned to drown him. Right. Pushed right. his ass out and uh -huh. looked at him. Look, one of them looked at the other one and was like, well, he's doing it right. He didn't say stop. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hold right. him down more tighter. Right. right. Until he right. stops one moving. Was coaching. <laughs> right, right. right. Yay. In heart, he worked <laughs> wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Mm. Who's committed more violence in this God. earth than the white man? He done dropped atomic bombs. Mm. He done raped, robbed, murdered the whole earth. Yep. Yes, yep. him. He ain't done yet either. Nope. 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 The hey. devil. Hey, you, you do got to read it down, man. <laughs> you got to read it again. Read on down. Read down. Get it. Verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Mm-hmm. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So I'm sorry I brought that out. Go ahead. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Go ahead. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. It said they stop her, so they ain't hearing. Yep. They're not hearing how, how they should be. Right. And our people, like like Cat was bringing out, we still haven't learned to separate none of that. So they not finna hear how, how nice our kids is or how nice we think they are or that we love them. Go ahead. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Uh -huh. Charmers never so wisely. So they not they not hearing no, you know, oh, black people are all right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, they nice people. No, they sit up here and bullied this eight-year-old, right. thinking like this the other little dude thinking, and put him to death, even though, like they said, they had it all on camera. So you mean tell me ain't nobody told them kids, leave that man alone? Right. Ain't right. nobody said, y'all shouldn't be doing this. And they said, shoot, forget all that. Right. We're going to take this man over to this water. Where we know he ain't gonna like it and kill him. Exactly. And then they try to cover up for the kid. Yeah, right. and that's, they lie. Yeah. That, that's what the community going on. That, that, That's what I put in the show run. It's an article where the where the mother actually is talking about how they lied to hey, cover up what they did. Peep this out. That little boy said, 
I want to be a murderer. He had to think of how to do it. Them little boys had, I'm going I'm to befriend him, then I'm going to lure him out here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to drown him, and we're going to get away with it. That's, That's a good idea. Amen. Hey, bro, <laughs> you want to go kill a black boy? I think you exactly. <laughs> need to do. Exactly. That's crazy. And we, we, we sometimes ask why. Let's get, go back to Genesis 27, read verse uh, 41, because this is why the Bible is our healing. It gives us that, that clarity. When you get it, go ahead and read it. Yes, sir. The book of Genesis, chapter 27, and you said verse 41? Verse 41, yes. Verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob. Why? Because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. So we think, well, that's just Old Testament. That don't matter to, to this present day. They still are mad at the blessing that we have. We the children oh, yeah. of God. Right. That's why they right. plot right. against us. That's why it is a community cover-up. But let's get some more. Uh, can I get one more script? Let's get Ezekiel uh, 35. Let's get Ezekiel 35 because we think that it's just in that time. It's just Jacob and Esau. Yeah, yeah, Esau is the so-called white man. Yeah, Jake is the so-called black man. But that was just in that time. No, God has given us warning in these last days. That's why we are waiting for that judgment. You got it? Yes, sir. Go ahead. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Go ahead. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A what? Perpetual mm -hmm. hatred. So it happened then. It's happening now, and we can even go back in history and see how we got to today with the same hatred from one man to the next man. Right. The so-called white man hating the so-called black man throughout generations. Yep. So we see that in the Bible. I'm going to show you something. Now, I'm, just not, I'm seeing this now, right? Uh, go back to that in Psalms and read verse. So I want you to get Psalms 58 back to verse 5 and hold that. And then read 41 again. But read Genesis 27 and 41 again. So you want Psalms 58 first? Nope, Genesis 27. Genesis 27 and 41. Genesis 27 and 41. The one that Officer Marshall just read. And then I want to tie I want to link it to Psalms 58. Yes, sir. And verse 5. The book of Genesis, chapter 27 and verse 41. And, he, and Esau hated Jacob. Because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. So the, the, with that blessing comes a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the inheritance of the whole earth comes with that blessing, right? We, we the guys. We're the, right. we're the people. Right. Mm -hmm. Now go back to Psalms 58 and read verse 5. The book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 5. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Who do you think the charmers are? <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it's us, right? Right. It's us trying, it's trying us to convince because, them because we're we're such a, a a righteous and holy people like the Lord made us because of that blessing that we got. Right. We want to see everything on a on, on a good. Everybody's good. Right. We don't understand that with that blessing that you got, you got enemies. Mm -hmm. You understand? These folks are your enemies, but in our minds, we can charm them. You know what I'm saying? We can make. I we can, can win them, over. them. We can win them over. Like <laughs> they can break. Hey, why aren't they on? Why aren't they on the sign? Why I only right. see uh, uh, black Hispanics and Native Americans on the twelve tribe sign? Where the white people at? We want to charm. John three sixteen, brother. And, and right. Exactly. Crazy. And they like this. We ain't hearing no, none of that no, shit. Right. We gonna no. kill your ass. Right. We, that's that's the only thing we all we got in our spirit is to murder you. That's it. We don't want to be your friends. We'll act like we're your friends. We'll smile like this. <laughs> Tight lip smile. But we cannot stand your ass. We always want to try to charm these damn devils, but it's it, it literally says that their poison is like the what did it say? Reverse four? Read Verse that. four. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Come on. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. They don't want to hear nothing about uh us being equal. Like right. uh the clip that uh was played yesterday uh, yeah. uh for class when the white the little black boy like uh you can you pray for me? Man, I yeah. pray for you. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I was thinking I was thinking in the church. I, yeah. was, <laughs> I don't gotta pray for you. I don't gotta pray for you. Yeah, yeah. Who I wanna pray for. Exactly. They cannot our people gotta understand like these people hate our guts. Mm. They gotta hit our guts. Hey, go to the go to the uh the short. Uh the short that actually has uh the eleven year old uh and Mr. John and A.O. Noah. I know we we gon we've been beating this horse to death, but uh, hey, we gonna keep beating it. I was That's just how we get out. Boy, <laughs> we ain't done bring it up. This horse. Bring it up. Right. <laughs> Play that. Tensions flared outside the courtroom Thursday. Protesters yelling justice for Noah. Noah, 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 No
Push. At one point, Wayne County Sheriff's deputies came outside to tell the group to move across the street. That's when a deputy and a protester got in each other's faces. But the mood shifted when the hearing ended. We're here with Demetrius Bush. Tears of sadness fell as the family of Noah Bush and their lawyers described what happened inside the courtroom. This 11-year-old admitted under oath that he, in fact, led Noah Bush down to the clay pits, pushed him into the water, and ultimately held his head under that water until he drowned. The 11 year old Pause faced right four charges. So he yep. just pushed him in there. Ah, uh, he held, held his, his head. head. Murder right. me, Tommy. Boy. Exactly. Murder him. Can I ask something? Yes, sir. Psalm 64. And started verse 1. Shout out to Officer Ziggy. This is one of his favorite scriptures. All praise. <laughs> the book of Psalms, chapter 64, and verse 1. Let's listen to what David said. Hear my voice, O God, uh -huh. in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. This is what we do today. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We sitting there, we, we marching, we praying, we asking for help. We asking the Lord to preserve our life from fear of the enemy. We know this white man is the devil, Read. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. You think little Noah knew that them two white boys was going to murder him? Nope. Nope. No clue. Read on. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The insurrection of the workers of iniquity. That is Esau. Read. Who wet their tongue like a sword uh -huh. and bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. They prepare to kill us. Ooh, they prepare a, to slaughter us. It's an even bitter words. Bitter That's right. those words that were slurred right. him before they led him into exactly. the pits. Yep. Go ahead, Austin. Read on. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Read. Suddenly do they shoot at him. And fear not. Mm. They don't. They don't have no fear for the stuff that they do to us. Right. Them little boys knew that the, uh, we get a slap on the wrist. They might not have known how much time they was gonna do, but they knew that they got a system that's gonna protect them. Right. A system that's gonna back them. Their parents knew. Read on. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. That's the point. They encourage themselves in an the evil matter. Let's let's murder this boy. That's why he confessed. Yeah. They exactly. encourage themselves in an the evil matter. And hope to be an example to all the other little white boys and girls. Right. And mm -hmm. will be. They and ain't got but two years. Right. 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 Read on. They commune of laying snares privily. Mm -hmm. They say, who shall see them? This is exactly what those two little white boys did to Noah. You got some offs? Nah, because with this whole thing going on, the confet they were already caught with the lies that they gave on the first report. Yes. But coming on the back end, they said, we got to let this young man go ahead and confess. We're going to just let him be a cold-wrenching mm -hmm. killer, but we're going to make sure on the back end of his sentencing, you don't have to worry about too much. Right. You, He's going to be a killer. That's, gonna get out. That's them bitter they're words. Go, they're right. going right. to be in protective custody the whole time they're in their little yes. juvenile. Right. 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 Yes. They're going to make sure that nothing happens to them. They're going to get out and be famous. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. That was their plot. It's, That's their bitter words, their community cover. Yep. Yep. And get out and still live their teenage lives. Exactly. Yeah. Probably finish high school and everything. Oh, are they going to get good jobs at that academy that, that you were just saying? Academy. Police, police academy. academy. Right. Y'all you know, are perfect for the job. We know your mindset. You know right I mean? here. You are perfect. You are. Right here in Jessel. Uh, accent, you, are, <laughs> you are a fitting character for uh, for the job that we're offering here at right. the Jessup County. You might be overqualified. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Dang. Exactly. <laughs> Stay over the body <laughs> <laughs> not, not doing your belt already. Right, yeah. right. Play the rest of that video. Play the rest of that video. In connection to Noah's death, including concealing the death of another and involuntary manslaughter. The 11 year old will now spend two years in a juvenile detention facility along with the 10 year old also charged in this case. Noah's mother, Demetrius Bush, also spoke in court today, reading a victim impact statement. My baby was eight years old with a full life ahead of him. And two years is what the state of Georgia calls justice for an entire life that's lost. But the family does not feel any relief. Their fight now turns to the adults in this case. They believe adults related to the juveniles helped cover up Noah's death, and they say they won't stop calling for their arrests. They, there is no they, peace. They there is yeah. no comfort. There is no... They shouldn't. Those parents... For two months, those kids weren't charged. Right. That means for two months, mm -hmm. the parents were lying and covering it up. Right, yep. right. Hey. You, did y'all read on the on the joint where it says she had a search party? 
Yes. Including, yeah. the, including parents the parents and the right. kids. Yeah, and they knew what was going on. And they knew it. Wow. That's the, the, the people that steal your stuff and be like, bro, where, I'll help you right, find help, it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the, or, or, or the brother that, that, that kills the brother and goes to the parents and, and goes to the funeral Go with to him. the funeral, right. Bro, you Who can't make this stuff that? up. But, hey, Lord's will, man, uh, <sighs> hey, we go, our people got to understand what needs to be done, which is to keep God's commandments and, 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 and build our own communities based off of what we have. But that ain't all. We got some more content that we're going to dive into along these same lines. I think, Officer Marshall, you posted this particular uh, article, so I'm going to let you go into it. Let's let's go to the uh, next uh, article. Uh, hospital speaks out after HBCU football player dies. Yeah. And if we can, let's, let's play the video first. There's a video that came with this. Because this is how I was first made aware of. I saw, you know, you scrolling through uh, YouTube trying to find things, and this came up. So, let's show the video. Come on, IT. Dr. Herman, who's outside, and Dr. Justin McCool have decided to put something in Terrence's IV to kill him. He's been fine and stable. The moment that we got ready to get him out of here and transfer him, they interfered. And as soon as he got the medical records to to give over to the doctors, they came and had somebody come in here and put something in his line. Dr. Jessica McCool, Dr. Herman of, of, of this hospital, which is uh, uh, Carolina's Medical Center, Atrium here in North Carolina. In North Carolina, right now. I'm telling you what they're doing. You see him right now. His mama's working on him. They they, they out there and they're, they're saying that they're going to let him die. We asked him to come in and do something about it. They decided not to come in here and do nothing about it. Right here at this hospital. So Dr. go ahead and pause Myers, it. Dr. Just so we can clarify what okay, we're seeing. Mm-hmm. What we're seeing is this young man who's in that picture, he's laying on the hospital bed. He got hit by a car. So he's in the hospital. Uh, he was stable all the while he was in the hospital, but the mother actually said that the doctors told her personally, yeah, we want his organs. What? We want Damn. his organs. He's a healthy football player, all that good stuff, right? So, and we kind of see the, the father. He's in a, a matter of distress, but he's trying to report the issue. There was another video also where uh, you see him trying to resuscitate his son because they had already flat. They put something in, into his IV to make him flatline. Wow. Mm. So they're trying to keep their son alive while the hospital has denied giving that help. Dang. That's what they so, be doing to them old people. Um, right. When yeah. they when they the sick, hospice care. The, yeah, right. They, yep. they they put something in their IV to just make them die. Right. You know, that's crazy. So, it it kind of reminds you of when we watch uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, how they did Fred Hampton too. They exactly. gave him something so he, so he couldn't be you know react. Exactly. But uh, let's go to the article. Let's go to the article real quick because we got to keep in mind that the hospital system is a part of ESO system. Yes, right. Yeah. It definitely yes. is. <laughs> And this is another way that he can show his perpetual hatred. Because mind you, look at uh, put that put that up on the screen. He's a football player, so what kind? Of, uh, uh, he did go to an HBCU, right? So let's read some of that article. Let's read some of that article. Hospital speaks out after HBCU football player dies amid parents organ harvesting accusations. Go ahead. A hospital where college football player died last week is speaking out following viral claims of organ har- harvesting at the medical facility in North Carolina. Terrence Howard, a 19-year-old Texas native and student at North Carolina Central University, died on Thursday, weeks after he suffered injuries in a car accident that reportedly left him brain dead. During Howard's ho- hospitalization at Atrium Health Carolina's Medical Center in Charlotte, his parents said in a series of videos posted on Facebook that the medical treatment their son was receiving was a disgrace because the hospital wanted to take him off life support. So, like I was saying earlier, this is just a, a one of many videos that they were showing how even the hospital staff denied helping them. So, what we're seeing is that as a nation of people, we have many afflictions. They're going to come in many ways. Mm-hmm. They're going to come in, in many facets. We're trusting our enemy to save our lives, but really they want to see us dead. But the, the hospital wanted to take him off life support, but isn't that the family's decision? Like, yes. Right. It's supposed to be the parents' decision. Right. And that, that's the thing. In the article, it said he was already on life support for three weeks. They oh. they noticed that he was stable and recovering. But the hospital had something else that they wanted to do. I think if you go down further, 
is where the mother makes a comment. Howard's mother, is that it? it? <clears throat> I see it. They want you see it? Organs. Yeah. Howard's mother claimed. Sorry. How his mother claimed the hospital wanted to kill my son because they wanted his organs uh -huh. and accused doctors of snickering and laughing and refusing to help him, them. He really Damn. They wanted his organs, Howard's mother continued. That's what they told me in the beginning. That's what they told her in the beginning. When he first came in there with those injuries, they weren't intending for that family to say, keep him alive and keep him on life support. They weren't intending for them to say, well, let's go ahead and pull the plug. Mm -hmm. But... I want to get that. What is that, Nehemiah? Hey, we better stop checking them boxes. Right. On your job, it's like, yep. I just, <laughs> right. yep. I'm thinking that. Hey, I had to go there. I, I think I, I'm an organ donor. I had to, I had to go on. there. <laughs> I had to go there. What was that, Thursday? Yeah. I went there Thursday. And I'm reading it. I'm reading over the paper because I'm renewing the license. Right? I'm like, bro, they got this thing rigged up. They'll ask you a series of questions about yourself. And then right in the middle of that is it, the organ donor uh, information, whether you want to give your organs and things. Right. You don't know how the you, science. here's how they get us because you know we don't like to read as a people. Right. Mm -hmm. We start hitting check and we just start checking, 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 trying to get through the paperwork. And people are checking that joint, not even, even knowing know. what they're checking right. they because we're not reading it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It should be a little hard. I read it when I was young, mm -hmm. and I made sure I said no. Right, I do that yeah. every time I go. <laughs> right. Make you feel good with that little red heart on your driver's right, license. Right. I don't I want no red heart. Right. Sure. I don't I'm about to take no that thing heart. off. That's the love of Jesus. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> but let's let's get some sense from the Bible. Nehemiah nine verse thirty seven. The book of ne Nehemiah chapter nine and verse thirty seven. Go ahead. Bring it out. And it yieldeth much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. So now, because of our sins, we do have kings and governments and, and, and facilities that are ruling over us. And now what do they do, Read. Also, they have dominion over our bodies. They have dominion over our bodies. That's why we could even say amongst ourselves, like, ain't it the family's judgment mm -hmm. whether he comes off of life support? Mm -hmm. But now... The hospital system is saying, no, we're going to slip something into his IV, and we're going to make him fully dead. We're going to kill him ourselves. Since they want to hold on to him, hold on to his life, we're going to kill him ourselves. Finish that off. And over our cattle uh -huh. at their pleasure. At their pleasure. Because they got somebody, some notable person that they trying to maintain their life. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's make sure we get his kidneys, his liver, his heart. We want his lungs. We want all this stuff so we can keep this notable person of our lineage alive. Read on. And we are in great distress. And that's why we stay in the great distress. That, imagine, because I see, you, you see him kind of frantic, licking his lips, trying to keep it together to make the video. Even the uh, the video that I saw, he was frantically trying to bring yeah, his son right. back. Yep. Like, yeah, on, he was on, over son, there doing on. CPR. Because I can imagine him coaching his son all his life. You know what I mean? So he even trying to coach him back to life. That hey, thing is heavy. We got to understand that these people are the damn devil. And right. we're going to get a little bit real quick into what this organ harvesting thing is. Read that. I want you to read right here where we at. When Howard's family requested a transfer. Yes, sir. When Howard's family requested a transfer to a different hospital, a staffer administered unknown drugs to Howard on Thursday, his family said. Allen suggested the hospital took Howard off life support against the family's wishes. So they went in there and took him off of life support and administered to him an unknown drug mm -hmm. to paralyze his body and to paralyze his brain. Right. Read on. Howard's mother suggested they were victims of a sinister plot involving organ harvesting. Uh -huh. An illegal practice defined by the International Society for Human Rights as the selling and transplanting of organs of victims. So this organ harvesting is a big business, and it has been a big business since the 1960s. Pull up that article that I just sent. Pull up the article that I just sent, right? Because all praise to the most high, we got diligent brothers and sisters in Israel united in Christ for our brothers and sisters that may go into uh, these hospitals and need aid. They need that uh, around that around the clock uh, treatment, that around the clock service from brothers. Because we got a sister that's been fighting the same uh, type of condition. Mm -hmm. Right. And our, our brothers, the father of, of of the young sister, he's been at the hospital for about two a month and a half, two months straight now. You know what I'm saying? Right here, right in North Carolina, and the sister. Is fighting for her life. Meanwhile, the hospital want her organs. Mm, They've right. already tried to convince the, uh, the 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 father to let the sister die 
because they want her organs. They serious? Had, yes. Yeah. yeah. They've had this conversation four, five, six times. We we've had to get lawyers. The brother got they, the brother had to get a lawyer. Had to move his daughter and has now put her in another facility. And the hospital has had already called that facility about her death because of her organs. Wow. Organs. So let's find out what organ harvesting is. Read this. What is organ harvesting? Forced organ harvesting is a form of modern slavery. It's what? Mm. Form of modern slavery. Read on. Where an individual's organs are surgically removed for sale on the black market. So they're taking our liver, mm. our kidneys, our hearts, our brains, and they're selling them for thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars on the black market. They tell, So basically, the young brother that got hit by the car, you, you're worth more to us dead Right. Than alive. Yep. You're worth more being a dead nigga than a living nigga. Right. That's that's crazy because uh, the script that you pulled, dominion over our bodies, right? If you think about it, it's that person's organs. So if if the hospital decides to sell it, how in the world doesn't some of the proceeds go back to the family? If that's the case, not not saying it's about right. business and things right. of that I nature, but mean. that just goes to show that you die. You still don't, you're not even, your family, nobody's even in control over your own organs. Because if you die, they just take your organs and sell it. They don't even give the, the family a chance to, you know what I mean, recoup nope. something off the organs. They ain't nope. got no might in their hand. That's no, exactly. Right. Hey, pull that, oh, man, yeah, get, that. get that. Get, get that. that, bro. Get that. Well, I got to find crazy. something else. Get that. They just taking the organs, selling it, and you get nothing from it. Most of these people don't got life insurance, nothing. Right. Family because can use that. Because you're donating your organs to the right. white man and his uses. Mm -hmm. He already said, I got dominion over your body. This is modern-day slavery, but even when you die, I want to own your body parts. And they, and they do own it. Right. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Hey, get that far off, so let read that. Let me break it down. Break Brandon off. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters oh, shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and daughters shall be given to another people. This is a curse. What this brother went through and his parents are going through, this is a curse that they live in. Their son in the hospital, they don't got no power over what happens to that young man. Mm. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Y'all hear his mama Damn, in there? Yeah. Crying, Damn. singing. She doing everything that she can to bring her to try to bring her son back out of his quote unquote brain dead state. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. But it don't matter. Mm. Because when they decided that they wanted to put that John in, in his IV, they did it. Right, right. When they decided they wanted to kill yeah. him, they did it. They didn't have nothing. It was nothing they could do. They Telling them they don't, they don't want to take him off life support, they refused. This is my child. Right, right. Yep. But they're under a curse. And they want them organs. And they want them. Hey, get, uh, get Isaiah 42 and 22. Isaiah 42, 22. That, that's a, that video there is disturbing as right. heck, man. Ah, Lee, that thing messed me up. All right, let's, let's go through it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So they robbed us. They literally robbed our organs. <laughs> they literally, they don't just take our stuff from us. They also take us right. from us, like, uh, like officer was bringing out. Go ahead. They are all of them snared in holes. Mm -hmm. So those are traps. Like y'all was talking about the document that whenever you go to the DMV, they put that thing in the middle of the page to where it's just blended in and you just checking everything to get through and they put in the middle of the page because you're trying to hurry up and get up out of there. you like, man, let me just hurry up and do this. So they purposely put it on the page like that so our people will ignore it. Go ahead. And they are hid in prison houses. And they also put us in prison houses, but go ahead. They are for a prey uh -huh. and none deliver it. That's why they sat there snickering in the hospital, yeah. laughing right. and crap. When they sitting up here knowing their son need help, they, they hear the darn machine going off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For a spoil. Because they finna take his organs. They finna spoil his organs. Mm. Read. And none saith, restore. Nobody bring this kid back to life. Dang. Nobody do that. Let him, let him, we gonna go ahead and let him die so we can take his organs. That's we what they die. doing. That's what they doing. Go ahead. Verse 23, who among you will give ear to this? Uh-huh. Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? And that's what it's doing. No one's listening. 
They're not listening. You need anything on that, hey. Marshall? Yeah, it's verse 24. Go ahead. Verse 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Because this is, what, is. this is that affliction. When we saw Noah's family, those were tears of disbelief. Right. Right. Yeah. Those, those, you saw the brother, his face is like, dang, that's what really happened to my, my cousin, my nephew, my, my son, whatever the case may be. This is what happened to my family member. Who gave us over to uh, for a spoil? Read. And Israel to the robbers. Dang, how can we be robbed like this as a people? Dang, I, I, I thought I was special. I thought we were equal. Read on. Did not Bro. the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? So we got to realize that it's yep. because of our sins. Right. That's the, that's always, when we come to the Bible, we got to realize it is because of our sins that we go through these afflictions. But read on. For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. So in fixing the afflictions and being able to have some comfort through the scriptures, we got to come back and keep God's laws. Right. We that's got right. to. That's why hey. our NRP ain't listening. Right. right. And what's in common about both of these stories, you see Christianity in it. Right. right. Yep. You right. see it dead right. in it. You right. see we can't recognize our enemies, so we send our little kids off to with their children, talking about racism doesn't exist, you know, in kids. It's there in them kids. Yes. Right. And, you, and, you know, we hear her singing them songs. Why? We hear that Christianity. Right, right. Oh, that's right. right. Like, Yo, who's singing, man? Yeah. Right. yeah, you thought it was something in the back. Right. Yeah. Right. Like the another page was right. going. Hey, that, that's that Negro's illusion of freedom. Right. right. Give, give Jose Spot a 5 on. and 15. Spot on. Crazy, here. Man. Christianity, I like we say all the time, it's worse than crack. And we're seeing, hey, now we're we going to have to pay for that. Hey, and keep we're that, seeing it. Keep that uh, organ, organ harvesting article up there and then get ready to pull up that link that I just sent. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Freedom. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So guess what? God is not sitting there defending us. He's letting these things happen right. because we turned our back on him. We seek another God. We got so much faith in Caesar Borgia. We got so much faith in our enemies. Mm -hmm. But look what happens. Read. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense uh -huh. and seek my face. And we still don't be seeking the Lord's face. You know, we've got prophets out there on these streets every single day. Every single day across the nation, and our people still walk by. They still say they're good. You still see them packing the churches. Hey, all these things are still happening. Read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So guess what? Here comes the affliction. Now our children are dying. Now they're harvesting our organs. And you know what? They're going to start saying, you know what? Maybe them Israelites are right. Yeah, Maybe they're right. Eventually. Right. That's, mm -hmm. It's definitely coming. Hey, go back to that article. A hey, good script, y'all. Y'all bringing out some. Y'all bringing. Y'all bringing out that fire. Y'all bringing out that fire. Hey, uh, go back to the article and read that for me, uh, officer. Our modern slavery courses. Forced organ harvesting is a form of modern slavery, uh -huh. where individuals' organs are surgically removed for sale on the black market. Uh -huh. Organ transplants are becoming increasingly commonplace. This is due to a multitude of advances. So our organs are due to a multitude of advances. Let's see what they're using our organs for. Read. Better seat belts. They're meaning... using our damn organs <laughs> hey, come on, for man. better seat belts. Come Dang. on, man. <laughs> can't even better I seat belts. That won't carry them. your ass to sell your damn organs to make better seat belts. You know, it, you know they putting them joints in them luxury cars and crap that they buying too. Of course, you can. You know that. Hey, listen, they listen. Kids. Yeah, they, 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 they were wearing our skin. Might got that soft. Right. They were making pocketbooks <laughs> and scrotum. wallets out of yep. our scrotums, bro. Scrotums. Ridiculous. Now they say, you know what? Let's take it even further. The mind of Esau is that is is, is, is they perverted <laughs> Micah, Micah chapter two. They think about this <laughs> wickedness on their bed. They sit up at night and they like. How else can we use these Negroes? What else can we do to their bodies? Read that. The book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. This is talking about your friendly, what you think is your friendly neighborhood white man. Woe unto the destruction to, to Edom. Destruction to the white man. Come right. on. When the morning is light. He says when the morning is light. They practice it. They practice it. Read it from the top again. Woe to them 
that devise iniquity. They think of iniquity, sin, uh, destruction, uh, devastating atrocities, uh, atrocities that they can perform on the Israelites. They think of these things overnight. They just come up with these bright ideas mm -hmm. how they can destroy us as a people. Come on. And work evil upon their beds. They work this evil in their mind. They say, now, nah, if I do it like this, that's why that young man can say, you know what? Killing is in my brain. It tells me. Mm -hmm. It tells me exactly how I'm, I'm supposed to deal with the murderous spirit that's within me so that I can come to your neighborhood and put your sons to death. It told me how to hold Noah's head up under the water. Right. How to push it, how to lead him and get him to this pit to push his ass in there and how to hold him down. Read on. When the morning is light. So when the morning is light, when they when they get up out of their bed, they say, ha, I got it. Come on. They practice it. They put it in practice. Now they're able to put it in. First, they put it in practice in slavery. They, they so-called Emancipation Proclamation freed us from slavery, and they started to institute their, 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 their ideologies, their thoughts and ideas in school. Now they've taken what they what the, the projects and the uh, 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 the different layers of what they've uh, discovered over the years from school. They implemented in college. They implemented in their hospitals. This is what we got going on. Read on. Because it is in the power mm. of their hand. It's in the power of their hand to put these things into practice. We can't use it right. because right. we there, there's no the Bible just read in Deuteronomy there will be no power in our hand. Right. The power is in their hand. Mm -hmm. Read on. And they covet fields. They covet fields. That's how they got everything they got. Come on. And they take them by violence. They take everything by violence, even your damn lungs. Right. Right. They just took this young man's, uh, 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 put this young man to death in front of his parents. Right. 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 You know, this is uh, like the inverse of John Q. Exactly. Yeah. John Q. Exactly. Exactly. They were yep. trying to get organs for the little boy. But in this case, they killed a little, uh, killed this young man to take his organ. You right. know what's funny? Well, not funny, but we would be silly to think that they didn't try to get a hold of Noah's organs exactly. too. Exactly. Yep. Like, they probably right. did. Right. And the parents don't even know it. Yep. They probably buried their son with mm -hmm. damn newspaper stuff in them. They yep. took, they, that's what they Just did like to old brother. boy. Um, exactly. Kendrick. Yep. Yeah, Kendrick. Exactly. Hey, read on. I'm going to finish that because I want to I wanna go through this article. There's another clip. Come on. And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man. They oppress us. Um, they oppress the man. And his house. And they oppress mm. the whole house. We swear, we literally just watched that. Come on. Even a man and his heritage. Even a man and his heritage. Now go back to this article real quick and pick up where you left off at. This is due to a multitude of advances. Come on. Better seat belts. They want better seat belts <laughs> from your damn lungs. Man. Read on. Meaning less young road traffic deaths. Meaning that there's less what? young road traffic death. If I kill your young ass right now on this hospital bed, I ain't got to worry about you driving around in this car because you dead. And I'm going to use your lungs and your heart and whatever the hell organs that I need to make seat belts. Come on. Safer transplant procedures. Safer transplant procedures. Read. Better post-transplant management. Uh -huh. However... This increasing demand is not matched by a similar surge in supply. Because everybody ain't got the same type of organ. Like, you can't do with my lung what they can do. They can't use my lung to do what they can do with your lung, for, per se. Yeah, because it's it's, it, it, there's different health conditions to these, to these body parts. Come on. Consequently, through desperation, many sick individuals are turning to the black market uh -huh. to source their organs. Read on. Facilitating a hotbed of criminal activity. So... These hospitals know what they're doing. These doctors know this is criminal activity. And it ain't nothing nobody can do about it because the power is in our hand. Mm -hmm. Read. Forced organ harvesting is a dangerous and illegal practice. It's an illegal practice. Now, play that clip that I got. This is why it's important for us to understand what Esau understands about this current world that we're living in. Play that. It is when your child turns 18, they are now legally adult, so you need to get these items made for them. They should have a will, they should have a financial power of attorney, they should have a medical power of attorney and a medical advance directives. That that way your the parent the child will execute these and the parents will have the ability to make decisions for them if they can't make decisions on their own. Without like a health directive, a power of attorney, anything financial, anything in the hospital, you are no longer in charge. That 18-year-old kid they're making their own decisions and no one's going to talk to you. Terrifying. <laughs> it's truly terrifying. You see this? You see what's going on here? Do 
you see what the hell is going on here? Right. See, we as we as a community mm. don't understand this. Right. No. Right. They, they know, know that. They know this right. stuff. They know right. That we don't know this stuff. Right. We. Do. That's why that license, the thing we brought up about license, that's one aspect of it. But what came out at men's conference, what Captain Shemaya brought out about right. the power mm-hmm. of attorney, right. opening right. trust, right. and having these things in place, it's important because something happened to your kid. They don't gotta come to you. Right. right. If that child 18, there ain't a damn thing that you can say. Because that child, that's why when they flatlined the brother, y'all can't do it. He was, he was in an HBCU, so he was over 18 years old. Is, your like med- is it in his medical records that you have the power of attorney of what happens to his body now that he's deceased? Oh, you ain't got that? Oh, that belongs to, to, to us then. Because the power is in our hands. Hey, whenever they hey. pass laws like that, we know that they aimed at us. And that's why they always have a way to protect themselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we the last ones always to know. Right. Hey, go back to that in Micah again, man. Go back. Read read that part again in Micah. The book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. It's in the power of their hands. Don't. Okay. Even if we get power of attorney, we get the trust, we get all that stuff. So it gives us a layer of power. Right. But how if we if Esau ain't, ain't, ain't giving us information out like this right here, how are people know? Right. Our people don't even. We are and, lost. And then we so ignorant, we not gonna get it as as a nation. Right. We not gonna get. We not gonna even follow that advice. We don't get life insurance. We don't get health insurance. We don't get nothing that nothing. that'll be beneficial for us and our pro, um our posterity, our future, our children, and things of that nature. Officer Cosdell got something on his mind. Go ahead, bring hey, it. Hey, me, me, and Officer Marshall, I got hive mind going on over here. Uh, I, My light skin twin over here. <laughs> Song, Songs ninety four twenty. Let's it. go. Bring it out. That's it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? What the hell we got to do with any of these establishments? <laughs> the hospitals, the police, uh, what you call the, the justice system, right. all of this stuff, it will not have fellowship with us. No. That's we can't right. get access to none of the, the benefits, or we won't seek out none of the benefits of these different uh, established powers. Because it's not for us. Right. Right. Uh, Read. Which frameth mischief by a law. They frame Mm. mischief by law. That's why they can put stuff. They say, hey, when your child turns 18, you ain't got no power. Don't tell the niggas, though. Yeah, exactly. Don't tell these niggas that. Don't tell niggas about that, yo. They going to put it in a law so that your ass not going to go read up on it and you're not going to do the things that are going to be required for you to do so that they can maintain that Mm. power. It's Mm -hmm. going to be an inside joke. We're right, not going to tell right. the black people. That's why that they we, were sitting there laughing. Right. Mm-hmm. We're not going to tell the black people, what, but we're going to sell their black organs on the black market. Right. Right. And, and you know what's snicker, crazy? Laugh, laugh, laugh. They know that unless with somebody's butt naked twerking, we're going to scroll, scroll right by that. Right. right. Ain't nobody ain't going to look at it. Yep. <laughs> I'm a bomb for that. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Speaking of last week, but let me, can I get a script? Isaiah 59. <laughs> Say, verse speaking nine. of last week. You done? <laughs> yeah, that was it. Okay, I'll pray. Framing the mischief by law. What what is law used for? It's used for judgment. So let's read that. You said verse one, verse nine. Isaiah chapter fifty nine and verse nine. Go ahead. Therefore, is judgment far from us? Why? Because they're framing their mischief by laws to harm us. Mm-hmm. We don't get the justice from them. We don't. Neither doth justice overtake us. Go ahead. We will wait for light. So that's why those tears come out of unbelief. That's why those looks are in despair because we're looking for somebody to justify us. Right. When we lose and have to uh, uh, lose family members because of partially our ignorance and mainly for our sin. But read on. But behold, obscurity. But we behold obscurity. How does this make sense? That's what we're asking ourselves. Like, dang. They said 18, but we just recognize the brothers 19. Like, God, dog. They really set and rigged the system. Right. Because now watch this. Even with these high school, not high school, but college football players, athletes, now they make money off of their name and likeness. Mm-hmm. So where's that sponsorship and that money coming from? Thinking about how crafty they are, though. That's the, the that's age crafty of 18 counts. years old. If your child is in college, 
you uh you can be their their they can still be your dependent. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, but you can't. You telling me in the medical field, <laughs> no. they're 18 years old. You don't have no you're not their guardian, their parent, you have no power over their body unless you That hey, is crazy. crazy. These are the, these crazy, these are the policies. This this how they get us. They set these policies up. Uh and we don't understand the policies that they're putting in place. Right. All these laws and different legislations, le- legislative laws and uh, uh, different things being passed, we don't understand that what's written in these things. Right. Like, uh, last night, Cap asked me a question. He said, uh, why do you think that they don't teach our kids to write in cursive mm. or to read in cursive anymore? Why do why, why you think they don't teach that in school no more? Because that's how they, that's how that they do they, that's how they do they work. Because you don't find that one, one when it's time to give a signature, our kid like I, yeah, I noticed years ago, unique. like my kids couldn't even sign. They they didn't know how to write in cursive because they didn't teach it. I wasn't aware of that. But then when it was time for my daughter to sign her uh, license, she couldn't even write in cursive. I'm like, you can't write in cursive? Mm-hmm. What the hell? That's She's heavy. like, we we never learned that. And they never the dawned on this. But here's the bigger picture. Most of their articles from, like, the amendments and all of that stuff right there, Man. most of that stuff is written in what? In cursive. cursive. So if you can't read or write cursive when it comes to the laws that were set in place prior to them taking it out of school, what is the what, what is the understanding of uh, uh, that our children, generations down, are going to have when it comes to legislation? To reading that. They right. can't read it. Right, right. right. They can't read it because it's written in cursive. So, and they they can't read cursive. And they can't write cursive. Right. Hey, Cap, I go an extra step because you know how now, you know, it, everything is digital. Uh-huh. So when right. they sign in different stuff, they can forge your signature. Right. You can't write your own unique right. signature. We used to have yep. to practice your signature yep. exactly. over and yep. over when exactly. we was kids yep. until right. you get your signature. So now when you see if somebody put your, I ain't write that. Right. That's not for me. This is what my signature look like. That is, I guess you could right. go well, way they, they out there form, with that stuff. They make jot form uh, uh, right in cursive. Right in cursive for you. For you. Yep. yep. Then anybody could do that. Anybody right? could do that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yep. Anybody wow. could do that. Can we finish that? Yes, script? Go ahead. Uh, uh, start back at we wait for light. We wait for light, but behold obscurity. So things aren't clear for us. Uh, there's no clear path for us. There's no clear understanding. Read on. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. We walk in darkness. Read on down. We grope for the wall like the blind. Go ahead. And we grope as if we had no eyes. We grope as if we had no eyes. We don't. We don't even see the help coming. Matter of fact, the ones that we run into, they vain help. They hunting our steps, like it says. Read on. We stumble at noonday as in the night. So we go into the medical facility thinking that they're going to, uh, uh, what's the, what do they call it, the Hippocratic Oath. Yeah. They're going to ob- yeah, obey right, by man. their own policies, save our lives, but they don't give a damn. Hypocritical Oath. Hypocritical Oath. That's what they said in John Q. Read on. We are in desolate places as dead men. All right, read verse 11. This is the point. Verse 11. We roar all like bears uh-huh. and mourn sore go like ahead. doves. Go ahead. We look for judgment. But there is none for salvation, but it is far off from us. Because that salvation that we're looking for is in white man Jesus. It's in these white man facilities. We're, look, we're looking to the other nations to save us. But our real salvation is learning who we are and then also building ourselves up so that we can be those doctors, those lawyers, those administrators to build up our people and be those caretakers for our people. That's what we've That's lost right. in losing sight of nation building. Right, and that, that groping for the wall like the blind, that's that throne of iniquity having fellowship with right, us too. Right. That's what we groping for. Exactly. But. Exactly. But hey, let's play that let's play that clip one more time. Just for the viewers. Pay attention to what Esau got to say. For them. They should have a will, they should have a financial power of attorney, they should have a medical power of attorney and a medical advance directive. Pause it. That, that way you're Pause it. Now, back it up. I don't know if you can do that. Can you do that? I don't know if you can do that on here. Because you notice how many different layers of power of attorney right. he's mentioning? Yeah. So if you got, just because you got financial power of attorney, don't mean you got medical power right. of attorney. Right. <laughs> you see that? Totally different. Thing. So there's there's layers to what he's saying. All right, uh, bring that back up. Play. 
frightening as it is, when your child turns 18, they are now legally adults, so you need to get these items made for them. They should have a will, they should have a financial power of attorney, they should have a medical power of attorney, and a medical advance directive. Now, pause it. That Somebody way, please, please, please pause it, pause it. Somebody please look up what that right. last thing he said. Medical advance directives. Is, is, what is that? I don't know what the hell. I don't know what that is. Hey, so please uh -oh. find out what let, a medical let me go, advance let me go to my med, directives. Uh, men's conference notes. Hey, you, hey, <laughs> you know the one thing that you can tell about them? They wealthy. Yeah, they wealthy. Uh -huh. You can tell that. And they, they didn't get that wealth by being ignorant. Right. They got that wealth by having knowledge that we don't have. What's that? Uh, is that it? Um, what yeah. is an advanced directive? Medical, it says medical. I need we need medical advanced directive. All right, uh, I think it's the, the one right there with the October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is it that one? Uh, Vail Health Foundation. All right, pull that up. Let's see. we all gonna learn something today. Right. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight. He saw he, he, he they on they on top of it. All right, make it bigger so he can see it. You know, uh, your host was straining his eyes to yeah, see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that. What is an advanced directive? An advanced directive is more than just a legal tool. It's your voice, your control over your health. What? Your control. Hey, <laughs> your control over your health care preferences, even when you can't communicate them. So when you mm. can't, when you after they give you the drug, after they slip you the Mickey on the uh on the hospital bed and and and, and you brain dead. This is what. This is now now becomes your voice. Read on. It's a document that provides clear instruction about your health care preferences in situations where you can no longer speak for yourself. There are two main types of advanced directives. The living will. I think that was brought out at, uh, at right. men's conference. Yes. yes. Specifies the types of medical treatment you wish to receive or avoid in certain situations. Uh -huh. And the second is health care power of attorney or health care proxy appoints a person to make decisions about your medical care if you cannot do so yourself. So, and, hey, all yeah. praise to the most side for the leadership. Hey, a round of applause, uh, IT, right, right. for the leadership, because they on point with, with making sure that, all praise, they on point with making sure that we as men understand these types of things, because this is war. Mm -hmm. Right. This is war. Yep. That's what this is, you know what I'm saying? It is war. Having that living will and a health care power of attorney, brothers and sisters, we need to really be looking into that thing. Because the person, we all know what's going to happen to us as the Israelites. We right. know what's coming. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, given it's not as bad as it's going to get, and you end up in one of these situations while uh, society is still at some type of normality, mm -hmm. then you have these things in place. But it's going to come a point where these things are not even going to matter right. eventually. But right now, right now, we all should be looking into that living will, health care power of attorney, financial uh, power of attorney. We got we got to get these things lined up. Right. We have That's to get right. these things lined up. Right. Because as you can see uh, with the uh, HBCU student, what's his name again? What was his name? As we can see with the brother, he, his parents, they didn't understand this. And I can assure you, many of our people that go th has, that have that have been in these hospitals yep. over the last few years have not even known what a damn living will is or a health care power of attorney. Right, right. right. A, a cap. If we if, and if we got people in our in our schools that have this information that that works in these fields and that can set people up, man, y'all got to step to the forefront yes. Right. Yes. and that, really deal with us, man. That's what deal. the Lord called you for. Right. I mean, don't think that our particular uh skills and, and, and uh knowledge that we have coming into this truth are not valid right because that you might be a foot hell the, the body can't move without a, it can't move without a foot right. you need feet That's to walk right you need a big toe on that a, foot too. you know yeah i'm gonna That's tell you something right. people don't understand how important a, a big toe is <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. Hey, for real. For real bro. Hey, yeah. stub your pinky toe against the, the countertop you. or something like that. that. Hey, get that. What's that? Uh, countertop. 1 Corinthians 12? 12, mm -hmm. yep. Yep, that's what you want. You don't understand how important a toe is. Right. Brothers, don't think they're important. That little information that you may have dealing with uh, the power of attorney, we got a lot of nurses and stuff in the body. Y'all got to bring that information forward. We need to be on point with... Uh, making sure brothers and sisters are set up with these things. Pay the initial fees. We got to stop being black. 
right. right. Pay the initial <laughs> fees. Hey, facts, and though. Get, the, right? and, and, the and get the thing Sir. set up. You know what I'm saying? Because we'll say, man, $300 just to talk? Yeah. You need to pay them $300 and go talk to figure out what is the process for setting these things up. You only pay it one time. Right. right. And then you repeat it over and over again. Bro, uh, you got that? Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, and verse 14. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? So if the foot can say, if the foot say, I'm not, I, you know what? I ain't a part of the body. Is, is that true? <laughs> right. <laughs> that is not true. No. <laughs> that is a lie. You are a part of the body. Well, what, 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 what other, for what other reason were you made? Right. We got to yeah. look at our skills and that we bring into this truth like that. Why did I learn this particular skill set at this age? Mm-hmm. What caused me to go into this particular field to learn these different skills? Why? Because the Lord designed it that way so that you can bring it to this gospel and help push this truth further. Right. Right. We need y'all that have this information to come forward. You 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 might be a toe, but that toe is important. Right. Right. Shameless plug for the stewardship program. Hey, 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 whatever skills y'all have in this body, do not be like that that uh, parable where they buried their talent and right. didn't give it over right. to the body, right. to the congregation at large for us all to benefit from. So, right. Shameless plug. Hey, we got to understand this war, and we need all our members to bring in their talent. Right. Because we're not dealing with no slow enemy. No. Nope. We're dealing with a wise enemy. Can I get right. that in Ezekiel 28, mm-hmm. verse 3? Let us sum it up exactly what they're doing. Behold, oh, sorry. the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, verse 3. <laughs> Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. Uh-huh. Mm. There is no secret they can hide from thee. Right. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten the riches. That's what they use in their skills, their science for. They're using all these things to get money. You understand? They write up laws to get money off our ignorance. Hey, when we're ignorant, they become rich. Right. Read. And has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures uh-huh. by thy great wisdom and by thy traffic. By thy what? By is thy that, great wisdom and by traffic. thy traffic. That's the yes. organ traffic. That's right. that sexual traffic. Hey, That's and we wonder right. why our people are ending up missing. Right. We have hundreds of thousands of people go missing every year, and we don't say nothing. It's because this right here. They trafficking our people, they organs. Right. They say, you know what? We don't need the whole body. We don't. We don't need the whole body no more. We don't, because think about it. It says this is a that article said that this is a form of modern day slavery, right? Yeah, right. right. Modern but slavery. in modern day slavery, is there chains on your neck, on mm. your ankles? Nope. Right. No. So I don't need your body no more to go work the fields. But there are parts of your body that I can use. There's parts of that body that I can use and ship it over here. I can right. ship it over there. I can use these parts to further life for my people. That right. Hey, the Rothschilds, one of them dudes that had like six heart transplants. Bro. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. They they keep keep themselves. He like alive. 104 <laughs> years old, man. Yeah. Huh? Right. Well, who hurt you? Hey. He ain't using another. Eat him. Eat him. Eat right. him. Uh, no, eat no. him by your heart. Right. Who hurt you think he using? He didn't right. got that 19 year old boy heart. He got that 19 year old boy heart. Hey, finish Athlete. out that verse. Right. There. right. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, hast thou increased thy riches. And thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Hey, and you know what? They're so proud. They're so proud. They think they're doing a good thing. And they're mm-hmm. sitting there trying to encourage us. They, hey, d- uh, donate to save a life. Right. They just save their lives. Hey, and that, you know the policies, go ahead. Right. And we caught up on that organ donor thing. They, they feel like they're doing a good thing by becoming an organ donor. Right. You know what I mean? Not knowing that they're being exploited and being used. Trusting that enemy again. Boy. Right. What's, what's crazy about this part is... That pride comes from the success. They're successful in what right. they're doing. Right, right. This shit works. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. It, it, it bro, get me uh which one I want first. I want Ephesians 6 and 12. Ephesians 6 and 12. And then get Daniel 8 and uh 25. 
Y'all want one? Yeah. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. Read it For we wrestle not against the a flesh and blood. Read it again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this ain't no physical war. You got brothers out there, they talking about getting guns and, and, and buying ammunition and, you know, getting uh, bonkers. Bruh. Right. This is not a physical war. All of that That's garbage right. that you're talking is not going to help us. These folks ain't beating us. Now, they're killing us in the streets, but the war is not going to be won with weapons. Not physical weapons. There's only one weapon that's gonna win this war. That's the right. Bible. That's right. It's the only. It's the only weapon that's, that's gonna right. win the war. Read it again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, Come on. but against principalities. Against what? Principalities. We wrestle against principalities. These things that they set in place that we ain't got a damn clue about. Come on. Against powers. Against powers. Against the rulers of darkness the of rulers, this world. The rulers of the darkness of this world, they have the power. That's what we just read in Micah mm -hmm. chapter 2. They the one. They are the ones with it. We ain't got none because we're still on the bottom. That's right. the, the reason we're still on the bottom is because we're powerless. Come on. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. So we got to put on the whole armor of God. Where's this Bible? Finish this verse. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So in order to be able to stand in the evil day, that evil day is when you get your behind in that hospital. That's an evil right. day. Mm -hmm. And they're like, uh, who has the medical uh, information for, right. for this mm. brother? Who's the power Who's of attorney? Who's the power of attorney? Now everybody looking like power, power of attorney. What the hell are you talking about? That same face of disbelief. Exactly. I don't know what confusion. Confusion. Exactly. Now go to that. In, go to that in you, Daniel eight. You know what's so hard about what you just brought out in that verse? That whole armor of God. That's the whole Bible. Exactly. Right. Not just the New Testament. Exactly. That's Jesus. Right. You need the whole Bible. That's why you're in there talking about oh Lord, 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 exactly. Lord. Like I get it. Trust me, I get it. I understand it. But that's not how we fight. The Lord ain't the Lord ain't, ain't in that right there. He's not in there. So so you're saying, Cap, part of that armor of God would be taking heed to the information that our elders brought out. Exactly. During the men's conference that's in regards right. to preparing ourselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's that's the, that's a part of that armor. Mm -hmm. That's a part of that armor. Getting that getting that living will right. is a part of that armor. Hold go before you go to Daniel 8, read uh read verse 13 again. Verse 13, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. So everything that, this whole Bible, like you just brought out, but there's things in society that this Bible teaches us. Like th we war based off of what we learn from the scriptures. This is how we war. You understand? That what's written in the Bible is how we get an understanding of what's taking place in society and how we are to maneuver around it. This right. is just one level of the uh, the the spiritual war that we got to learn to maneuver around. Having that living will, that power of attorney uh, for medical, the power right. of attorney for the for your finances, these medical directives that need to be put in place. These are tools for war. In fact, when you go back up and read, go back to the article. Go back to the article and read the first part of the article. It says, what is an advanced directive? An advanced directive is more than just a legal tool. It's more mm -hmm. than just a legal tool. It's But it's a tool to what? Read. It's your voice. It's a tool Man. that gives you a voice for when what? Your control over your health care preferences, even when you can't communicate So them. it's a tool uh, in the spiritual world to be used when you can't communicate for your own self. Read. It's a document that provides clear instructions about your health care preferences in situations where you can no longer speak for yourself. So this is a spiritual tool to help us fight the spiritual war that gives us power even when we can't speak for ourselves. Because if we don't learn to put take power into our own hands by the information that's out here, then that power is relinquished to the same people that have been oppressing us for over 400 years here. Straight up. Now go to go to that in Daniel, chapter Daniel eight and twenty five. The book of Daniel, chapter eight and verse twenty five. And through his policy, and through what? His policy. Come on. Also, he shall craft to prosper in his hand. So, 
This is this is the craft that's that's prospering in their hand. They're selling our organs all over the damn planet, right. and we ain't got no clue about the policies that they got in place. Right. 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 Hey, all praises that that brother had both mother and father in the household. Mm -hmm. Think about all of the. 18 year olds who in single parent households, or it's just a mom, right. Right, or just a dad, where they don't even have the presence of mind right. to think about damn power of medical powers of attorney or any of these these policies that the the medical industry is set up. Mm -hmm. That's Thanks. what. That's why what we do is so unique, bro. Right. We bring we bring families back together. You're right. trying to label us a hate That's group. Right. What hate group is building marriages? Right. right. What right. hate group yeah. is putting a man and a woman in a righteous situation to produce righteous fruit as children to continue to produce a righteous nation? Right. right. What a hatred at. That's right. Hey, I was just thinking about uh, while you was bringing that out, how many um, men and women that aren't married, when they say, well, you're next of kin. And you like, right. I've been with him 13 years. I've been in 10 right. years. Right. And they like, I don't give a damn. Hey, where, they, where your paperwork DMX. at? DMX. Hey, they like, okay, yeah, well, let me see the paperwork. Right. Hey, no that, paperwork. No paperwork. Hey, that joint go, like you said, where where do you see that marriage? Uh, all, Where do you see a group putting marriages together? But with that marriage, we also breaking that cycle of ignorance. Right. 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 Yeah. Can exactly. I get two scripts right quick? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Let me finish yeah, this one real quick. Go back to Daniel 8. 25. Read that. Read Book through. of Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. Read and out. through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper so in his hand. We're seeing that with these different policies that are set up that we ain't got a damn clue about. Read on. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. They magnify themselves in their mind. That's why the doctor came at our own brother here about his daughter's organs four or five times. About his daughter's organs. They try to say the sister was dead already. But she in there kicking, showing that she has signs of life. Yeah. She's breathing on her own, showing that she has signs of life. Man. They're trying to get her organs. I still can't get over the fact that they that's his daughter. Yeah. And they're saying, I wanna I'm, I'm gonna take her organs. Yeah, yeah. we want her organs. Yeah. They like, were already selling them. <laughs> thank you. That is crazy. They already had a, they already had prices and everything lined up to to snatch the organs and and sell. Straight up, y'all. It's not a game, bro. Read on. And by peace shall destroy many. Come on. And he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Hey, all of these, everything that these damn devils are doing is going to fail. Right. All That's of their policies right. are gonna go, are gonna right. come to naught. But we as a people got to get our mind right. Right. We got to get our mind right. That's go right. Hey, go to uh, Proverbs thirteen twenty two. This right here goes like like with the with the theme of what what everybody bringing out with what happened at men's conference and this is what what kind of men is being produced in IUIC. Read that. Proverbs chapter thirteen verse twenty two. Uh -huh. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children, children to his children's children. Because now you're setting up there. We're being taught to set up trust. Being taught how to teach our kids. How to how to set these different things up to where when they go to the doctor after we dead and gone, they got something in place to try to put a layer to protect themselves up until that time to where all that stuff ain't even going to matter. Go ahead. Read the rest of it. And the wealth of a sinner is laid up for the just. All right. Now go to Sirach 42 and 7. Because what we're reading is about these putting these legal things in place in writing. So whenever it thinks, whenever the scriptures say put all things in writing, it means just that. Get all that stuff in writing. Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 42, verse 7. Deliver all things in number and weight, uh -huh. and put all in writing that thou givest out or receiveth in. Or receiveth in. in. So we have to put everything in writing, even, even with our health care, our wills, and everything like that. And that's that good man that's going to leave an inheritance for his children's children. Because he's going to put right. the things in place. That, oh. is, that is crazy. That is crazy. Uh, that's, I ain't know nothing about that. That's, that's wild, bro. What they say? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. It made me think about uh, just the other week when we was on that um, blitz. And, and I passed out. Oh, my yeah. blood pressure went low. And we on yeah, the I'm on the ride, on the ride to the hospital. You said what now? You did what now? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna we gonna eat this right in. The mic went out. We are gonna uh, keep on moving. I, 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 I think <laughs> you said, talk about this one off air. I think you said. Uh, go ahead. But listen, um, 
black guy inside the yard, you know, well, inside the uh, I don't even know what I was. Ambulance. ambulance. He said, uh, he said he gonna tell me. Uh, according to the EKG, uh, it looked like you having a heart attack. And so, I was like, Fred. I said, I said, I don't want to say it, but I said, shut the hell up, bro. <laughs> 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 I, I'm, I, I'm good. You know, I had to tell him. I'm like, because I already, I saw the setup. You ain't finna kill me on the way. <laughs> 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 No, but I don't need nothing. You don't want to stay? Ooh, nope, I'm gone. I'm exactly. gone. I'm just dehydrated, bro. I'm just dehydrated, bro. <laughs> oh, man. So, in other words, uh, when you had had your little episode, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you was in there, they said that you was having a heart attack. Yeah, he said. Just think about it. You sitting there looking at them face to face. Nothing wrong with nothing you, bro. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Like, I'm chilling. And they telling you, bro, it look like you having a heart attack. Right. Imagine I, them grabbing said, you and putting. I said, "What? Right. Yeah, whoop, 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 whoop. Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at it? Right. <laughs> I start doing some wild uh, stuff. I said, "What? Right. Oh, I said, crazy. man, shut the hell up. <laughs> it's like hey, that. Was it a brother or was it? It was a, a black dude. Oh, man, you know that. He, they, was, he was the guinea pig for them. He, they just sent him to be the tech dog on me. Because wow. the other white people, they wasn't saying nothing. They just looking at him. They said, you feeling all right? I said, I feel fine. Hey, so you ain't, you ain't hurting? No. Look, look. Nah, nah, none of that. They are you having trouble breathing? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> That's right. Hey, uh, imagine, they be, imagine they be in the, in the, in the ambulance hey, betting on, hey, who going to get the commission off of this one right here? Right, right, right. Because right. you know? right. that thing ain't cheap. That's jump wow, out. See, huh? Who going to get the commission off of this right here? Say 500 to take that ambulance right. Hey, you remember Man. they said, you sure you don't want to stay in the yeah, overnight? yeah. No, I'm good. I got to ride home. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> I'm like, why they trying to keep this man in the hospital? Hey, straight, they, man. They'd, they'd have kept you there, and then you'd have woke, you wouldn't have woke up the next day. Right? Yeah. Crazy. They'd, have, they'd have slipped you a, 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 the medical Mickey, you know what I'm saying, and you wouldn't have, yeah, it would have been over with. And I went, to my, I went to my own doctor the very next day, and they was like, yeah, you're you good. Oh. Everything's good. Oh, praise God. I said, you just probably dehydrated. I said, I know I was. I think we got time for one more article. Let's go to the next Dang. article with uh oh we got we got her we got a couple things. I need to we need to get to Kamala Harris. Hey, go to the uh next the, the go up to the articles that officer uh Kassar posted on Brianna Taylor, uh his boyfriend. Uh also we'll let you kick this off. All right. Uh let's deal with it. Well do the one where um well yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Brianna Taylor's boyfriend caused her death, federal mm. judge rules. Right. How in the hell? I mean, just, I, just, I, just, I, like, just I, like, I don't even sound right. right. I'm like, what the heck? Bro, how, he was already in the house. Like, yeah, hit, uh, what the hell? Did he do a Jedi mind trick? Yeah, right. That's exactly what has happened. <laughs> Go ahead. A federal judge has thrown out major felony charges against two former Louisville officers accused of falsifying a warrant that led police to Breonna Taylor's door before they fatally shot her. So hold on. So they falsified a warrant in the first... First of all, that's illegal, and if the cops would have never right. even went to the house if the warrant wasn't falsified. Right. So she she would have never got shot. The the boyfriend would have never shot at them. None of that stuff would have happened. But these dudes was exonerated for that thing. Read it so again. So they bypassed the falsifying they, of the right. document well, they, and they they go straight and say it was right them. Over that. They found who hold themselves not guilty. Right. right. Yeah. They actually said that they shot her, but right. then they blame her boyfriend. U.S. District Judge Charles Simpson ruling declared that the actions of Taylor's boyfriend, who fired a shot at police the night of the raid, were the legal cause of her death, right. not a bad warrant. Wow. Right, and then, and then wow. the circumstances of that was the brother thought that they were coming in to rob the spot. They, they didn't announce themselves as the police, none of those things. So he, what are you going to do if a robber's coming to your house? Yeah. Stand my ground. You know what are you, you going to stand his right. ground? <laughs> right. Exactly. And go ahead. Federal charges against former Louisville police detective Joshua James and former Sergeant Cal Meany were announced by U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland in 2022. During a high-profile visit to Louisville, Garland accused James and Meany, who were not present at the raid, of knowing that they had falsified part of the warrant and put Taylor in a dangerous situation by sending armed officers to her apartment. So how in the wow. world, are they, they weren't even the ones that did the shooting, but because they falsified the warrant, they should be held accountable. Exactly. Right. It can't be legal to falsify a warrant exactly. for cops to go over somebody's exactly. house. Exactly. So they let them off and the shooters off. 
That's Zechariah. Get get it again, real quick, man. Real quick. Right. Yep, yep. Right. Let's get it. Bar rated <laughs> beer. Zechariah cool. 11, man. Our people need to wake up. We've been beating it in the head the whole show in regards to our enemies and their, their practices, their crafty counsel, all these different things that happen. They're not going to be held guilty. Read that. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Go ahead. Whose possessors slay them mm -hmm. and hold themselves not guilty. We are the possession. They are our possessors. They kill us, and they're going to hold themselves not guilty. They're not going to be they're going to be acquitted for the crimes that they commit. Read on. That's and right. they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, mm -hmm. for I am rich. And they, now we've learned that they become rich off our organs, all type of different ways. They, they kill us, they become rich. Read on. And their own shepherds mm -hmm. pity them not. And that is the main problem with our community. Our own shepherds, our leaders, our, our black so-called black leaders, our ministers and things of that nature, they do not pity us at all. They've made that covenant with debt and hell against our people. That's all I got on that. Hey, Officer Kaz said something earlier about bitter words. There's nothing more bitter words than hearing when a white man, a police officer, we hear those words, they say not guilty. Right. Right. Well, that's, that's the right. most bitter words you can hear in the black community. Yep. A police officer get off with not guilty. Right. And you know it was cold-blooded murder. Right. That That's an oxymoron in that article. Like, how do you say... They knowingly falsified the warrant and then say it wasn't because of the bad warrant that it happened. Right. When no one ever would have been there if it was never for the falsifying of the warrant. Fact. That's bitter words to even write that and then to think that that's going to be all right with everybody. That was a snare laid privily. God, right, right, man. Right, right. That's, yeah. that's cold. Hey, pull up it the. It wasn't uh, a bad warrant because against us. Hey, y'all search skills. for the uh, the U.S. Constitution and the amendments real quick. You know what I'm saying? That's so, what I was just thinking hey, about. That. Pull that thing up real quick. I, there's one that I saw yesterday. I think it's either eight. I know what 13 is because I, I, I talk about it often. And that's the one that goes into you are not. Slavery is abolished except, for crime. you know, if you go to prison or something crime. like that, which is what uh, uh, Deke was hitting on yesterday. Mm -hmm. But there is another one. That speaks about uh, how certain uh, punishments would not be afflicted. The eighth, the eighth one. Yes. Yeah, I want the Eighth Amendment, the Eighth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, right there. I'm sure he can see that. Just share it. Yes, sir. I can see. All right, read that. The Constitution of the United States, the Eighth Amendment. Excessive bail shall not be required. Uh huh. Nor excessive fines imposed. Uh huh nor cruel and unusual punishments now, are inflicted. Go back to Zechariah 11 and 5. Read that again. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. This is, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. The Lord is a mastermind. Our people just dumb as hell, man. Right. We got to wake the right. hell up, bro. Everything in everything that we're going over is coming full circle for you to see. And if you can't see it, I'm telling you, you see it with a hot iron, bro. Read that. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Bring Whose possessors slay them. They slay us. We've seen that from Noah to the uh, the brother in college to uh, Brianna Taylor. We've seen it. Come on. And hold themselves not guilty. We, we, we literally just read the article where they're not even going to hold the officers that shot guilty. Neither the ones that falsified the damn warrant are going to be held guilty. Mm -hmm. Right. But the boyfriend who was in the house sleep, who was protecting his house. Right. He's going to be held guilty for the murder of his uh, of his girlfriend, who should have been his wife anyway. But that's that's beyond the point. He's going to be held responsible for the death of the sister, and he ain't had nothing to do with the whole situation. Right. Read on. And they that sell them say, "Blessed be the Lord." They, they say, "Blessed be the Lord." Hey, thank you, Jesus, in the name of white man, D. Cedric Bourget. Come on, for I am rich. Hey, are we rich as hell because we can do what we want to do mm -hmm. with this people? Come on. And their own shepherds pity them not. And our shepherds don't give a damn. Where the hell is damn uh uh Ben Crump? Ben, right. Ben right. Crump. <laughs> right. That's right. Where the hell is uh uh Jackson? What's his name? Jesse, Jesse. 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 Oh Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. Where the Sharpton. hell are they? Even in their younger days, they ain't do a damn thing no. for our people. <laughs> Nothing. So now when we look at the bail that was set for the two uh, Edomite boys that pushed Noah Bush into that into that water. Read the amendments again. The Eighth Amendment, 
excessive bail shall not be required. They don't have to pay no excessive bail, right. but right. let a young black man do any, let him, let him get caught with a gram of marijuana in his pocket. His damn bail is $10,000, $15,000. Right. Mm -hmm. You get caught shoplifting as a black American. Your damn bail is $100,000. Right. But that shows you the Eighth Amendment Amendment does not apply to you black people. Right. You were in slavery when we That's created this. Right. This does not apply to you. So when it comes down to uh, uh, the two Edomites, the two white kids that uh, killed Noah, read that again. Excessive bail shall not be required. We're not requiring excessive bail from our own two young uh, killers that killed a black boy whose people was in slavery when we wrote this. Read nor excessive fines imposed. We are not imposing excessive fines on these murderous spirit of these people that killed your that, that killed the uh the young black boy. Come on. Nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. We're only going to give him 2 years because anything over those 2 years it's will be cruel right. and unusual punishment. Come right. on. That's it. Yes, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's waiting on another. <laughs> this is hey. I'm telling you, bro, like this is this is right. This is it's a it's had to happen to us, but it's time for us to start waking the hell up. That's right. We gotta wake up as a people, man, because this the only way to change this is to come back to the Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It is to come back to the Bible. There's no other way to get beyond this point of destitution that we live in right now. That's the word. Being destitute. Yeah, destitute. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's the word I want. It's <laughs> you know, that's, that's been off into the next segment because uh, there is hope. The word is going out, and there's some preachers that are finally listening. Oh, yeah. Play that oh. clip. <laughs> oh, this, oh, oh, he all of a sudden uh, discovered. Hey, get the hell out of here. Through his research. <laughs> we are the Israelites. We the research. And, we, and we're the research that you're researching. <laughs> Pastor Fred Price. It look like, I ain't gonna lie, past the fried piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you right over the camera. Right, right. I know y'all brothers. I know y'all brothers I'm on trying to burn the fat. I know y'all brothers on keto. I mean, I'm I'm eight. Man, go ahead with that. Man, play, play, play the video, bro. Yeah, play the video, man. Play the video. Look, play the video, man. He look around. I'm about to. Play the video, bro. I'm 214 pounds. Here we go. 17.8% body fat. I'm not a lord ass. I'm rich. That's right. Shout out to Captain Shen. All right, let's go. Pass the uh, piece of fried chicken. <laughs> They have, they've gained a lot of attention. They've been around for a while, but social media really put them on a platform. Of course you're talking some about us. Some know them as Hebrew Israelites. What the Hebrew Israelites have preached isn't something new, but it was new to social media. And so a lot of people that had never heard the message or had never focused on the message began to pay attention, more attention, closer attention. One thing that I am wholeheartedly in agreement with and we're going to focus on that today. For some of you, maybe you've heard it before. For some, it may be eye-opening. But I believe, due to my study, I have come across some information that I believe is irrefutable, if not near irrefutable. Why you got tall like that? And that is... Smooth words. Yes. That the slaves... Witchcraft. Transatlantic slavery... And those slaves are Israelites. And that if you're descendants of slaves, you're descendants of Israelites. Descendants of Hebrews. Now, now at one point, I was aware of this. As I began to move forward and study, I did come to the conclusion that maybe some were. Wasn't quite sure about all. But now I hold a position that all were. Due to social media. Okay. <laughs> okay, you want you go, go ahead. I, was, I want you to kick this off before I get on my rant. Hey man, listen. When you know, it just pained him to say it. It pained him to say it because they know they can't prove us wrong. Right. So he had to just finally That's admit right? that we are the Israelites because they noticing that those churches 
are getting less and less right. packed. Right. Right. That's why. Hey, man, I can't stand Negro preachers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't voice. like them, bro. Like they, and through my studies, uh, I have found that uh, maybe this information it may be new to you. It uh, maybe to some you've heard this before, but me, shut your ass right. up. Get out of here. To say it's That's not right. new, like it's been around forever or something. Right, you <laughs> exactly. grow a whole though, lifetime and didn't know you this said truth. it. It's witchcraft the way that they gotta soothe and smooth out the congregation and just. How they try to bring everybody under this yep. one tone and get everybody to... Uh, uh-huh. And then they time. pass the damn collection plate around. Yeah. You still a nigga. Yeah. Still a nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but at least, at least he did say that. that I mean, was hey, that. I, yeah, bro, I appreciate you. We got him on <laughs> record. We, appre- we appreciate you. Until he get that letter I, in the mail. Exactly. Right, right. Until, right. Uh, until you come, <laughs> until you stop stealing the people money, I saw Edom in that church too. That I, I, see, saw, I seen it too. I saw Edom. But yeah. I'm sure our people are in there. Until you stop taking their money and living your lavish life, you still a thief. All right? That's I'm glad right. that you know you're an Israelite. I mean, all praise to the most high. I'm glad you're uh, telling the people that we're the Israelites. Now keep the commandments of right, God. Right, I was about to say, right. he, he's not, he That's didn't mention right. what doctrine he's going to teach behind us knowing that we right. Israel. See, he said he only agreed on right. one thing. Right. Yeah, that, that right. All the right. other stuff, keeping the laws, don't I don't agree with, with that. that. Right. Exactly. Also, is it a requirement in mega churches to have velvet floors? <laughs> must be, bro. <laughs> <laughs> must be, bro. <laughs> Upscale ones, though. It must be, bro. I'm going to tell you something. It, it takes a lot of work to install that thing, too, bro. <laughs> I don't tell you. <laughs> yeah, because his father was a, a well-known uh, televangelist. Oh, yeah? Uh, that's yeah, what I yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah, that's what I junior. thought. Yeah, oh, that's my man. We used to watch him. Yeah. Oh, you, you used, used to watch him? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, really? oh, 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 Put his pops up on the screen real quick, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, pops up. Oh, oh. You used to send money to the 1-800 number? No, oh, oh, man. man. Damn. Damn. You were reaching pops. out for the prayer cloth. Way. I done seen them Sunday mornings on TV as did pops. They, did, did, you, did they send you the holy oil when you sent right. them the money? All praise to the most high, man. <laughs> Just put a picture of his pops. Everybody done seen this, man. Seen, seen this ah, ministry. Yeah. That's his pops right there. That's Cleflo, buddy. Put, put yeah. it on the screen so the nation can see it. So I'm not dancing on the money, right, too. Right, right. So, uh, <laughs> Just so the, all, everybody's seen his pops. All yeah, the viewers know <laughs> Officer Kassar said he sent this money to this guy, right? Oh, okay. Hey, oh, him, boy, and Cleflo, him and Cleflo was <laughs> dancing on the money together. Ooh, Damn. Damn. The money. Oh, pray. Money, we money, we money, new money. creatures, man. New creatures. Yeah, we new creatures. Hey, all praise the most high. But at least... He's showing some type of um, he's giving a, he's giving a lane for our mm-hmm. people in the Christian church to Redirect. understand what yep. we're That's teaching the is the truth. And that right. seed has been planted. Yep. It's right. been planted. And we know that some of them's gonna get watered. Yeah. Right. Some yeah. of them's gonna get watered. So in other words, he did something for black people. Right. Yeah. There you go. Unlike right. Kamala That's Harris. Right. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Unlike Kamala Kamala. How you say her name? Kamala, Kamala. Harris. Kamala. Now Trump said, oh, hey, get, the, or get the clip, Trump, because Trump, Trump right. I'm going to tell you straight, I like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, I hey, Trump, funny, Trump is my guy. <laughs> if there should ever be another president in the United States of America, <laughs> it should be Donald Trump. <laughs> I like Trump. I, I'm like pro Trump tr- I am pro, pro Trump. Trump. <laughs> you understand <laughs> me? I'm pro. Who, I like, like crazy white people in, in charge. That's right. I, exactly, exactly. <laughs> See, crazy white people make dumb black people realize that we are not the same. That's right. 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 That's that's right. right. So yeah, you need that's Trump right. to, to you. Hey, Trump is good for black people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I like what he did with Kamala Harris. Let's 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 play this clip, please. Let's uh uh get it. The uh got started over. I'm you to miss start them over. Until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black. Here we go. Make sure we're sharing it. Here we go. Sorry, what did Trump just say? I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. That is Donald Trump questioning <laughs> Kamala Harris's race. She is America's first black, first Asian, and first female vice president. And this is her response. This is the <gasps> same thing they did to Barack. Yes. I was born black, I will die black. Uh, and I'm proud of being black. 
So look, Sorry. go ahead, Austin. I want you to get it. I want you to get in there. Right, boy, it's my blood when she say that because <laughs> did y'all see the video of her putting hot sauce on? Yeah, greens? yeah. yes. Man, yeah. Bro, this bro, is the bro. racist. <laughs> right, that's exactly this what lady it is. is racist. This lady racist. <laughs> she a damn racist. She is not black. She ain't black, bro. <laughs> hey, see my all, collard greens. So I'm talking about her damn sauce. collard greens. Like, <laughs> yeah. Man, listen. Dang. She got black America food. Black women. Right. Yeah. She got yeah, black yeah, women food. Black they think that she black. Our sisters got to understand, just because you are of a brown tone, don't mean that we're the same people. Right. Right. And she was That's in that AKA right. sorority. Right. Exactly. They probably set that house. house. All of that, that little. They let yes. all that groomed. Stuff all of that is yeah, set yeah. up and groomed, like you saying, to be able to present to stupid ass wow. black people. Right. Because they understand... They understand the uh, role that they've given black women right. in society. Yeah. That's why you got the independent black woman mindset going on. Right. They don't want a man for nothing except some rod and a baby. Right. Right. After they get that, they want to do away with a black man. They don't want a black man no more. Like, this things that the stuff that I hear at work is just ridiculous. But the more you see it taking place into society, you know that there's a large portion of our women that number one, they hate the black man. Yes. And number two, they ain't going to respect the black man in nothing. They think their degrees and they think the paperwork that they've got from their oppressor puts them at a, 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 in, a in a seat higher than us. Right. And Esau knows how to play on that. So what he, what do he do? He takes Kamala Harris, and like Donald Trump said, I didn't know she was black because... <laughs> Play, I want the clip where she's saying that she's Indian. I want right. she's on the right. she's on that one show. She is Indian on the show. And remember, and let's get that in numbers real quick. You are what so, your father is. is. All right, pull this up. People at the uh -huh. supermarket. Yeah, you gotta pause them. You know what I'm saying? Start them over and then share it. There you go. I know how to see. If I was back there, I would I would know how you know what I'm saying how to do that thing. <laughs> you know. All right, let's play this right here. This is in 2019 when she identified as an Indian. Play on. So what we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. yes. Pause, 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 pause. She tried to hurry pause up and get past, past that. Right. She said, yes, 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 yes. I'm Indian, yes. <laughs> Play it again. Okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. recipe. Yes. Because... Yes. You are yes. Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and yes. I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people, the uh -huh. supermarket, on uh -huh. the street, everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our <laughs> thing we're so excited <laughs> about to have you running for president. Yeah. So demon. we're She's both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look we, like the entire ha one half of my family. Okay, thank so, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Back that part up again. Right there. Play that. Yes, um, you look like the entire ha one half of my family. She okay. says, <laughs> you look like the entire one half of my family. Right. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And Bring they assembled up. all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. For those that don't know, a pedigree is a bloodline. They declared their bloodline, their pedigree. After their families. After their families, like she just said, you look like the one half of my family, huh? By the house of their fathers. So that pedigree and bloodline is determined by what? The house of their fathers. Is determined by your father. You are what your father is. Right. right. So Trump said, I didn't know she was black until she decided to turn black and now she wants to identify as black. When she has... Blatantly told the other uh, Indian lady that she is Indian and she right. looks like one part of half of her family. Well, let's see what her father looks like. Put this damn demon on the screen. Bring it out. Wait a Hold minute. Wait, that's wait. a pops? Wait a minute. I don't see no collard greens with hot sauce on them. Curry. curry. They eating goop scoop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for <laughs> <laughs> they cook with their hands. Yeah, yeah. right. Good yeah. scoop. I was so looking look for the collard greens, bro. I ain't gonna lie. These, hey, 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 it. Look up the images of her father when she when they moved when they moved to Jamaica. Cause see what these heathens do is they think they slick, yeah. right? 
they go buy up some land or right. whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then they move to a different part of the country or a part of the world, and then now all of a sudden, she's Jamaican. Right. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now watch this, Cap. When most Elam goes into the Caribbean islands, they don't buy up nothing. They squat, they squat. on land. Yeah, they squat. Mm. So that's Squatters. another form of gentrification. Uh -huh. And then they're covered by the various policies in that land to where as long as they stay on that land for a certain amount of time, they can theirs. take yep. up 93, 94, 95 acres of land at a time. Uh -huh. So that's what they're doing. Hey, did, did y'all find another image of her, of her father? Of her father. I thought you had to be born American citizen to be uh, president. Not these days. They do what they yeah. want to do. Right. You could see the energy, her whole vibe when she was asking her yeah. about her right race. Right there, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Stro hey, stroll down, stroll down, right there. That is her father, right there. Uh huh. He done moved now. Dude's head is ridiculous. He done moved now, but that is not Jake. <laughs> Look at that. He's, that dude's like Klingon. Man. <laughs> Listen, man. So I don't know. We we ain't got an article on, on the history of uh, them moving to Jamaica or whatnot. But she kind of explains what, what what the situation is. That right there is her damn daddy. That's her daddy. That's her daddy. He the pappy. He the pappy right there. Look at him. Just look at him. Look at that right there. You gonna tell me that they, that they look? <laughs> put a wig on his damn head. Right. Yeah, that, that's her pops. That's her pops. <laughs> same eyes, same nose, same damn mouth, same jawline, same chin. Same forehead. Same forehead. You are not an Israelite. Right. right. She ain't that's of our right. people. And for those sisters out there that think that this sister is a part of our people, you dumb as hell, and you just want you want another layer of security to uh, exploit your so-called independent black woman uh, lifestyle. That's what you want. Yep. But the black man is the key and the foundation of all that you desire in this world. Bring it out. The car that you drive That's was made right. by a man. That light that you stop at every day, that was made by a black man. Right. The damn peanuts that you like to chew while you driving down the street <laughs> in your car, Bring that it was out. done by a black man. Right. Right. This world that you live in, it was created. By a black man. Right. You might as well right. just get used to it being the black man in power because we might be at the bottom right now. But there's a day coming where we're going to be back on the top. That's yes. right. This right. sister That's right here is the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Bring right. it out. And her That's husband right. is an Amalek. And her so. husband is a damn. Right. So right. where's her allegiance? Yeah. Exactly. Her allegiance. Amalek. Hey, you know what bitch you say? Show me who your husband is. Show me who you sleep with, and I'll, I'll tell you who your allegiance is yeah, to. Right. Yep. See if we can get some pictures of that. Oh, you got pictures of, a, of, of the husband? Bring bring the husband out. Yeah, bring out like, he looked like the textbook the of Malachite. Right. <laughs> when you draw Amalek, it's him. It looked like him. Damn. <laughs> Damn. The sketch. Damn. Imhoff. Jesus Christ. Douglas Imhoff. Look at this. Dang, look at that nose. This is who your allegiance is to. Yeah. She got the same you, demon on her that he got in him. Right. Yes. When right. you say you're voting for Kamala, Kamala how you say her damn name? Kamala. 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 Yeah. When you say you're voting for Kamala Harris. Con you, artist Harris. Con artist <laughs> Harris. You're voting for those fake ass Jews that are in our land right now. That's what you're voting for. You're voting for policies to be put in place over your black behind. Yeah. Right there. That's what you got. I'm proud of my boy Montel Jordan for getting rid of her behind. Right. My, proud of What? Her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That that was her <laughs> initial black card. You know what I'm saying? Dating uh, Montel Jordan. How the hell? She not not Montel Jordan. What is the dude? Montel uh, Williams. Montel Williams. 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 Talk Montel, show. Yeah, yeah, talk Montel show. Jordan. I guarantee you, he knew she wasn't white. <laughs> you know, I'm not uh, black. Yeah, of course. <laughs> how we do it. No, he knew. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey, listen. When he laid down with her in the smell, he uh, already. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You already know that you not you ain't no sister like bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong. Something, you smell like damn curry. Uh, curry. Uh, curry, curry. That, now 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 she smell like gefilte fish. The damn oh, smell like gefilte fish. Gefilte and, gefilte uh, fish. Uh, yeah. Hey Benji gonna be mad at that joke. Right. right, right smell right. like curry. man curry good man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
no, no, ain't no, no shots fired at Benji. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, but they do use curry a lot over there in India. Right. I mean, what you call it? The goop scoop. Goop scoop. Damn. Damn. They eat. Right. Goop scoop with their fingers. They eat with their hands. Yeah. With their dirty fingers. Hey, listen, I don't know if y'all saw the video, but there was a video China. of uh, Captain Joel when he was in India. And uh, they were making the, the street. Hey, look up Indian yeah. street. Oh, yeah. there you go. Indian street food. Yeah, that's, that's the goop scoop. God damn. <laughs> look up hey, the goop scoop. Look up gross. Indian street food. <laughs> that just is gross. Not street corn, street food. Indian street food. And look up videos Video. where they making yeah, it. Right go, to go to TikTok. Go to TikTok. Go to the recently uh, created that TikTok. That is gross, man. That joint is gross, man. <laughs> goop scoop. <laughs> uh, y'all gotta get, hey, scroll back up, man. Super scroll back. Let me see. That ain't the right one. Oh, look, look, look at that. Look, look, look. Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Goop, scoop, goop, scoop, goop, scoop. Look ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, I can't take it, baby. Goop, scoop. Look at my man, man. Like. Look at that. That's how they get out. A little bit of wrist sauce. You want some? Hell no, I want none. <laughs> All right, you can drop that. Anyway, Kamala Harris. That's the half of uh, Kamala Harris family. Yeah, that's the, right. that's, the, that's half. the half right there. That's the half right there. Anyhow, uh, we over our time, y'all. We over our time. You know always. Y'all got always. anything else y'all want to bring out? Anything else? One no, more. yeah, I do got one more. All right, go ahead. Go. Got one more script. Bring one out. more script. Hey, bring it out. Hey, go to Ciroc. No, Wisdom of Solomon fourteen twenty two. This is everything we've been bringing out today with the ignorance of our people. And you had mentioned it earlier. You said like this: this is war. Us being ignorant to all these different policies and all the different ways that they come against us. That is war, and the Bible talks about that. So let's read that real quick. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. So it ain't just enough that we erred from the knowledge of God. Go ahead. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. We are ignorant. That great war of ignorance. That's why you got the wills, all the medical things that we got to get in place as a people. So all the stuff that, that, that was brought out from all the men, man, a hey, Lord's will, our people take heed to some of this stuff and actually get them things in place for their children and for themselves. Go ahead. Those so great plagues called they peace. And because we're ignorant, we call it peace. That's why you can get twerking with, uh, uh, uh what's the girl that was twerking? Megan, uh, Megan, yeah, Megan Stallion. Stallion with Camilla Harris and then black women thinking something cool when most of them probably go in the hospital and can't even make a decision. Exactly. Right. Bring it out. Megan Thee Stallion being on one of Kamala Harris's little speeches is is Kamala saying, look, vote for me, and y'all can continue to be little hoes. Exactly, right exactly. Right. exactly. And, and we'll empower y'all. Right. I'm going to pass policies that's going to put your little hoes in jail. <laughs> <laughs> vote, for <laughs> vote for me. Hey, y'all going to twerk yourselves right into a grave. Just Holy. vote for me. Right. And Megan Thee Stallion is my spokesperson. She Unbelievable. Is my, she is my statue uh, uh, of representation for the policies that I'm going to put in place for your black ass. Mm -hmm. Right. Unbelievable. That's so. crazy. But anyhow, it's been another show. Y'all yes, give a round of applause. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, good show today, man. Well, as well, y'all enjoyed the show. Y'all continue to stay tuned to the Final Trumpet Radio Show as we continue to, uh, you know, drop out, drop uh, episodes uh, here and there as we get here to do them. Lord's will, we're going to be more consistent. You know what I'm saying? We got cars here. We got oh, praise. Oh, oh, praise. We're going to keep building. But, uh, so that's going to conclude today's show. Lord's will, you all got something from that. Make sure you go to iuic.columbia.sc at israelunite.org if you want to support the show. Send your donations there. Make sure you put in that uh, uh, comment section uh, radio show. All right? Uh, we could definitely use some books. You know, we could use some books. I like, yeah. to, I like to read. We could definitely use some new equipment because IT be losing stuff left and right. Shout out to them. Wow. Uh, and uh, any proceeds definitely helps the, the body. Also, make sure you are donating to the Booster Club. Right. All right. So we're going to be running the uh, missing person segments uh, right after this. And with that, uh, my name is Captain Kalai. To my right. 
Officer Aton. To my far right. Officer, you want to throw Yasharala? My far, my left. Officer, you want to throw Kasat? My far left. Officer Marshall. And now my far, far, far left. Officer Kaz. Officer Kaz, King Kaz. And I'll read it today. Officer Yehoshu. And you have been tuned into the latest episode of the Final Trumpet Radio Show. Lord's will, y'all stay tuned for the next one. With that, we say shalom. Most high in Christ bless. Shalom. 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 Shalom.